Hello. Hello, Danielita. How are you? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. A little bit late today, but yeah, my um, fault. No, 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 nobody's fault. But um, I mean, we're we're um, flexible. Oh, I should turn this down. Yeah, maybe. We're very flexible, so yeah. um, there never really is a time. We keep everyone guessing. Yeah. But you know what the good thing is? You don't have to guess if you ring the bell. Yeah. Yeah. You press that little bell button. And then you would be notified every time. Yeah. Live. Press that little bell button. And you don't have to stress about the Please don't be hour. confused. Don't confuse that with press my belly button. Because that's, that's not right. That's a lame joke. Yeah. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> um, I, I sent you a reference photo. Oh, yo. Yo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I said yo. So... Um, we're going to paint a pair today and we're just going to do a super basic, hopefully nice painting that has to do with volume and space. And I use paintings like these just to ground myself. I think that it's super important when we're doing, um, I don't know, much more complex pieces or pieces where you are um, evidently trying to have an objective that is highly specific or, you know, you're just, uh, you just want to experiment a little bit. Experiment? Experiment? Did that sound weird? Pair? Oh, Experiment. oh. Yeah, but today that yeah, would have been no. cool. But no, 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 that would have been good. But we're not really quite experimenting today. We're going to do, we're going to try to do a very basic um, kind of uh, just strong formal painting pair. of a pair okay um which i think it's kind of fun and it, it actually helps me quite a bit too so every time i'm doing weird stuff and not super weird stuff but for example i started the uh the image that i'm going to do for uh for the visual correspondence today mm -hmm. and um it's a uh it's a something it's a painting that um i'm taking a, a little bit of a risk i mean risk in my terms so that, <laughs> I, love how, I love how you measure your words yeah i'm, I'm not yeah i'm trying to be clue. super vague but okay so that was my morning session mm -hmm. and right now i just want to you know do something super super simple that just grounds me i think that doing those two things is, is kind of healthy uh also this painting never sold mm -hmm. which is um sad but beautiful uh, so we're gonna paint on top of it, not because it didn't sell. It didn't sell, but uh, because painting on top of a painting sometimes is delicious. It's a great surface because this is already like, think of it this way: it's like oil primed already, mm -hmm. and it's. I would venture to say it's pretty stable, so mm -hmm. I don't think we're gonna run into trouble. You know, any trouble. Uh, by painting on top of it so yeah, and you've painted on top of a lot of paintings. oh in my so, life yeah oh my god so it's like, not like try or probably, trial and error oh, today yeah no so. no no it's probably i think yeah no yeah no 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 <laughs> i think i've done probably you know it's it's in the dozens i was gonna say probably more than 50 paintings on top of like 50 other paintings for sure people mm -hmm. You know, only in the future when they x-ray those paintings, um, they'll be able to um, to realize that there, there was uh, another work underneath. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do this. I'm using a little bit of medium, uh, truthfully, because I put it down for the painting that I was doing. And um, I think it's, it's okay to use it here. So we're going to use just a little bit. So the first thing I notice is that now that the paper has been sealed by oil paint, which is essentially what happened, uh, surface behaves very, very differently. So it's going to be a very different painting from the ones that we do. You can see how a sealed surface plus medium just paint just glides. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you see like the rest of the paintings that I've done, that usually doesn't happen. Usually the paper is grabbing tons tons and tons of that paint and my brush strokes are they feel more like they feel more like um staccato like broken mm -hmm. uh which i love which i absolutely love this is not the moment where i'm complaining about that no this is the moment where i acknowledge that that's 
exactly what I like about mm -hmm. um, the uh, substrate being raw. Uh, but today, that's not quite the case. So we're going to have to deal with uh, um, the painting feeling just a little bit different, which is okay, which is okay. And we are going to try and do something very Baroque-ish, even though I'm terrible at it. But we're going to try to mm, be super respectful of our shadow mass, of that like Terminator shadow here. We're going to try to like really, really be respectful of the drawing. I'm not going to do a super tight drawing of that shadow, of the, um, the limits of that shadow right now. Because I want to do that through painting. And if this was maybe an indirect painting and, you know, maybe if you're solving your drawing uh, previously and if you're transferring your drawing, that um, uh, sort of transferring of that, you know, Terminator shadow, the, you know, being super explicit with um, the shape of that shadow is super, super important. That can be a ton of help when you're doing your painting. But... Um, but we're going to try to get to that uh, organically today. So just by painting like a, a Nalo Prima painting. So, And for the, those of you who don't know what I'm referring to, um, I think Harold Speed uh, is the one that, that describes or that writes about um, those limits of the shadow quite beautifully. Uh, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But... Um, what I'm referring to is like all these little shapes that come in and out of that shadow mass that, you know, in the end are going to be super, super important. Now, this shadow mass is very, very different from the uh, shadow that's being projected by that little leaf mm -hmm. that's there. So this one will conform to the turning of form. So this one, its shape it's gonna, is going to be uh, dictated by how the form turns. So it's not really going to be dictated solely by the shape of this object, by the shape of the object that's uh, projecting it, but also by, you know, the shape of the form in which it, it's, in which it is being projected. So uh, as that pair turns, that shadow has to conform to that turning. That's super, super important to know. But these shadows, these two, even though they they do speak about form, they do have to in some way speak about form, um, are very different in nature from form turning. You know, this, all this shadow mass has to do with this pair turning in space. So that's, that's our super, super important shadow. These, we can mess up with these, and they're, it's not that bad. But these, we have to be super, super... Um, kind of careful with so um I how are you danielita no good i was gonna say that you said what did i say no this this pair and i thought despair this pair yeah, yeah and I was just gonna to go say with it, yesterday I just, yeah i just uh bit my tongue to no 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 you could any <laughs> every pair um but that pun? would be a good title every pair I mean, if I have, like, the most horrible time trying to paint it, yeah, for sure. No, no, so let's not curse it. No, no, I, I don't, I think, I don't, I'm not saying it's going to be a great pair, uh, but. But apparently it's going to be. Oh, fun. God, this is <laughs> worse <laughs> yeah, than I stop. imagined. Uh, Serene CK said, be careful with it. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll just make it a thing. Just okay. uh, throw at us the worst pair pun that you can imagine. Okay, I like that. Yeah. I like that. I'm going to be prepared for the worst. <laughs> oh, oh! now you <laughs> scoff at me? Now? Oh that my was God. lame, not mine. Oh, now. Yours now suddenly you become lame. the judge. Oh, right. I'm going to just go. So let me say hi to everyone. Please, yes. While they get um, inspired and it, tell us their... Oh, no, I don't think... Well, they prepare oh, Jesus. the um, I, things they're going to That was say. my... Yeah, yeah, I was telling oh you. Oh, my God. What is going on? Uh, so Belt said the puns unparable. Yeah, it's going to... I mean, let's give ourselves like 15 minutes or 10. 
Marcus If Paul it, Martin said, "Why did you pick that pair of objects?" Pair. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> <clears throat> so let's say hi. Yes, so, please. True cuckoo was mm -hmm. here. Hi, true cuckoo, and they were asking, "Are you gonna paint over it?" But yeah, you you did oh, answer. Oh, I that. already yeah. Yeah, yeah, because they were asking before oh, okay. you answered. So, uh, Van Hassa, black cat. Uh, so hi. Hi, eh, Cacaito. Cacaito Hi. Rodriguez. Yeah, super early today. Cacaito, early bird. Uh, well, Hi, not Juan really. Cuevas. We're late, so. Well, but she's early to our lateness. So okay. She's fine. Okay, yeah. Uh, hi, Juan. Hi, art by Natalie Williamson. Hi, Peston. Eh, hola, Gabriel Pozo. Hi, Robin. How are you? Robin. 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 What was that? <laughs> I was going to go with Ro-Ro. What is Ro -Ro. that new interpretation? I was going to go with Ro-Ro, but Robin. Uh, okay. Sounds like the uh, amazing uh, football player. Max. Arian. What? It, I was saying that it sounded like uh, Robin, like the uh, football yeah. player. Yeah, but. Yeah, but I said Robin, not yeah. Robin. I know. So. <laughs> Um, Max Ignatov said, do you guys saw an, the new Batman movie? Yeah, yeah, we did. We did, we did. We did. We could, we could share our opinions. I mean, we're non-spoil, non non-spoilery opinions. Yeah, and I, I think, think we've, we've talked about it yeah, last could, time. I could talk about it a hundred times. Yeah, we liked it. Yeah, but, uh, short of it, we yeah, we it. like it. <laughs> we like it. I don't know where it stands. I haven't done the exercise to, um, to see... Where it stands in the um, ranking of your yeah Batman. So, so I'm guessing. Well, the thing is, I grew up with the um, with the Tim Burton movies. So a lot of people like in terms of a movie movie, I'm I'm guessing Nolan's like Dark Knight. They'll always go for that one because it was you know it was the first kind of um, real effort to um to ground batman and it's a wonderful story it's like a an amazing trilogy but but um i don't know i think um the uh, burden ones have uh you know a really really kind of beautiful place in my heart mm -hmm. i still remember um going to the movies with my brother uh, uh we went to a mall to uh boulevard Mm -hmm. at night after school like okay. and this is i was uh probably 10 10 and why or 11 Boulevard? because f i don't know my brother was like it that it's was playing cool over place there at the moment it's playing over there i don't know if he had tickets or something uh -huh. but he was very excited or i don't know if this was like premiere because i think he was like super excited mm -hmm. so maybe my brother remembers this a lot more than i do but uh we can ask him later mm -hmm. but So we went to Boulevard, and Boulevard was like super new at that moment. No, it was it's, like it's super, cool. super new. The thing is that I've never been there with you or never heard about you being there. So I was curious if oh, maybe yeah. that was like the the hot place you um, I were going I, I remember to. watching probably like five or six movies when I was younger there just because it was it was like new. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of people wanted to just say, hey, let's go to the new mall, yeah. to the new place. Yeah. Um, But I um, I remember us getting super late to that. But, you know, when I was young, there wasn't you couldn't just pre buy tickets. Of course not. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have to you had to go to the movies and there was a huge line, like mm -hmm. enormous line. Yeah. And if you didn't do it, yeah, then you're out of. the. Yeah. 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 And if you got if you got to the, the uh, spot later, to the yeah, teller and they were like, uh, yeah, there's no more tickets left. So you you were always like betting like. Hopefully, there's going to be a ticket um, mm -hmm. uh, if we get there early enough. So uh, we got, I, 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 I'm guessing it was the last couple of tickets because my brother couldn't, like, you used to have to go into the movies and there were no uh, numbered seats. You could just sit anywhere. Yeah. So we, we had to walk around quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And my brother found, like, the one seat that was, like, in the, he obviously took the one in the back. Mm -hmm. And then he told me, oh, there's one in the front. And I sat like in the front to the side. And so it was probably like a terrible seat. But um, even with all of that, I remember that first Batman movie. I was like that Burden movie. I was just, you know, transported. 
It was amazing. Mm -hmm. Everything was amazing. The music, the designs, mm -hmm. Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson. I mean, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. Everything about it was just incredible. So I don't know. In my heart, you know, I guess like the adult part of me goes like, no, no, no. It, if you're thinking about the best Batman movies, you have to only j judge them with, um, with Nolan's. But... I don't know. I still, I mean... No, but that's why you are ranking yeah. it. You're not doing like a general rank, no. but your favorite ones. So yeah. Tim Burton can be oh, up there. He, yeah, yeah. For me, he, he's a genius, I feel. Yeah. yeah and the penguin that we have is um, Tim Burton. It, that, that's from Batman Returns. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know. I have to uh, kind of uh, sit with myself for like a little bit and try to... Uh, Try to see where it uh, where it sits, mm -hmm. um, uh, but I can say that I liked it. Yeah, I, I actually it really really liked it. I thought it was a a different version of of Batman, a very very different version of Batman, and not just you know a lot of people go like oh it's like an emo Batman and and that's about it. No, it's not as easy as that. I think there's there's a ton of things that this uh, movie does that are just exceptionally well done so I, it's not just about like this um kind of darker sadder batman no 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 mm. ibrahim salah was saying was asking a question that i know yeah that i can't answer like i don't have an answer right now to it oh okay they were saying top 10 favorite movies top Nicholas, 10 danny oh jesus um so you go because i have no like, idea like i just read that and my yeah. mind's blank uh like, one of my favorite movies ever is uh city of lost children mm -hmm. so that one has to be in there i don't know where i'm not gonna rank them but city of lost children has to be there if you can feed a documentary um I would oh yeah feed oh yeah no no for sure Zachary. yeah uh and mary and max that's two for me I have that's, no idea that's, more. That's very cool. I would have to put... <laughs> that's very cool. Yeah, that's a very cool movie. And it's totally... <laughs> it's super you. So that mm -hmm. makes sense. Um, the Marion Max? Yes. For you, it's 100%. Like a thousand percent makes sense. Um, I would have to put... Because uh, some of my f uh, favorite directors... And I've spoken about this when we did the um, uh, the studies from, from movies that we like... Uh, one of them is uh, Yorgos Lantimos, and the other one is Wes Anderson. Yeah, so, I was thinking. I mean, Wes it's hard for me to pick. So it's very, very hard for me to pick um, just movies from them. So I don't know. You know, whatever you want. It could be, it could be Lobster, and it could be um, from Wes Anderson. What, 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 what would I pick? It, I just always feel weird. It's like picking Samu or Fair or Fair or, or Fair. fair. Uh -huh. Yeah. It, I just always feel really bad about if I have to pick one. Um, um, Grand Budapest. Just to say Grand Budapest because I, I think that that's like uh, – that's, that's, I think in Grand Budapest, it's like Wes Anderson doing a ton of what he does with a lot of the other movies, which is every single movie that he does, honestly. Um, so how are we doing? City of Lost Children. Like four. You, you have four. Alps or Lobster. Um, is there any Grand Budapest movie that you know it's not good, but it was so good for you? Oh, let like me objectively, think. it's not a good movie. Yeah, but it that's something like that, it was a movie. You know, that I don't you care saw. that anyone else doesn't like, but yeah. I love it. Yeah. Oh, let me think. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Um, because I was I thinking that sometimes when we get asked about like. These like 10 favorite movies. Yeah. We try to think about the best movies that we've seen, like objectively the best movies. Yeah. Some but people don't like... But there's like lame movies that we also enjoy. So yeah. So I was curious to know what oh, was let your... Oh, let me think. Let me think. This is a good one. It's probably going to take me a little bit. Um, And it has changed. You know how before when there was like cable or something or you could rent movies or uh, mm -hmm. like... You would actually make an effort to say, oh, I'm going to watch this movie. I want to watch this movie again. Or, you know, if it was playing, on, you know, if you could like 
got home late and you just turned on the TV and it, you, you were like, oh, this is such a bad movie. And it was probably halfway through the movie. But yeah. you you were like, I'm watching this. I, I have to watch yeah, this Yeah, like for me, that was like, I'm not saying it's my favorite, but I remember that I, like I turned the TV on and it was there. Like Mean Girls or something no, like no, that? No, no, no. Mi Pobre Angelito. Okay. Home Alone. Home Alone. That's a yeah. great movie, though. So I was like, I have to see it. Like, yeah. I just have to see it. Yeah. For me, it's like Coming to America. I, I don't know. Which I think is like, I would put that movie in like uh, one of the best movies ever, also. For me, I think it's one of the funniest movies ever. Yeah, I also um, remember seeing a lot of Jumanji. That's a good movie, too. Yeah. yeah, that's a good movie. What did I. Well, I'm trying to think. You know which ones I like? Because which I always ones? loved um, Indiana Jones. Always. Mm -hmm. Like, I grew up at the time that there were Indiana Jones movies. So they were magical to me. So I actually super like the um, what 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 are they called the ones from um, uh, Nicolas Cage, the uh, oh god what is it what is this called they're super lame, uh, just go Google Nicolas Cage Indiana Jones that's what I did yeah uh, National Treasure is it. Could you Google like National Treasure? Yeah, yeah, National Treasure. I like those movies. I like them. I like them. They're lame. They're dumb. They're stupid. You know, they kind of fall into like a, I would guess like a the mummy category. I also grew up with like the Goonies. So anything that's like that, mm -hmm. it's just amazing to me. Uh, animated movies. What do I like? Um... Uh, the Miyazaki movies, like Ghibli movies, I would say um, Spirit Away, Chihiro. That's, I think that's my favorite. Uh, one of my favorite anim movies, animated movies ever, and this is recent, but um, I think it's Spider-Verse. I think it's amazing. Into I thought you were going to go like super old school with... Um, Akira or... Dum Dumbo. Oh, no. <laughs> or something like... Super. Oh, like a Disney movie? Yeah. I don't Cause know. Because we were talking about movies we've seen a lot. Yeah. And I thought you were going there, but you no, went no. super recent. I don't know what my... Let me see. If I had to think of like a Pixar movie... Mine Pixar is, is Toy Story. Yeah, yours is Toy Story. Yours 100%. Is like, yeah, and that would be on my top 10. And Disney, would you go like uh, Lion King maybe? Um, For yeah. you? Yeah, that's the favorite movie of my sister. I've told you about it. Okay. so. But, but I really like it. Yeah. But the thing is that I love Toy Story. Like yeah. I was such a fan. And I'm still a fan. Uh, if I have to go Disney. Um, bu -bu -bu. Oh, wow. You know which one I really liked? Because I loved the animation on it. Which one? Uh, Tarzan. I thought Tarzan was amazing. Amazing animation. Um, I like that one. You know, it's And not Pixar, I love um, Incredibles. Oh, yeah, you love yeah, that. Yeah, always. I've always yeah, yeah, liked yeah. it. Oh, I think it's... Oof. Yeah, I have more of a recent one, but I really liked Up. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's I brilliant. love that movie, yeah. No, that that movie, it breaks you. Like, yeah. the first 10 minutes, it just, like, breaks you. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was, like, bawling my, uh, my yeah, eyes yeah. out. Yeah, and it's, like, nothing. It's, like, oh, my God, what is this movie? <laughs> you know, I'm, like, this is, like, a test for you. But I know you're going to get it right. Oh, there's a pressure. song of a movie that makes me oh, cry. The, oh, so the bad. Toy Story one. Which one? When, um, what's her name? But it's the Spanish version. Oh, yeah. but The uh, English version does nothing on my heart. Really? The yeah. The Spanish version just like. Yeah. No, when they leave Jesse behind, yeah. <laughs> you know, in the swing. I don't know why, but it's Swings so are always part of your life. Yeah, because uh, I wanted to be one. Yeah. yeah, I know. Maybe you feel, maybe you're like, <laughs> I get you, swing. Yeah. I know I how you feel. I was your only friend, yeah. Jesse. You and I. Yeah, you you were, I think I saw you cry during that. With that, that. song? I think, yeah, 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 because I think when like we a just thousand met, times. <laughs> like you, you just put it on YouTube and started crying. Like no, no yeah. context, but I remember, no nothing. I don't know if you remember. The this. song starts. <laughs> you're crying. <laughs> but we were in the last apartment. Uh huh. And I was telling that, I was telling Fer, I think, uh -huh. that that song made me cry so bad. Yeah. And you were like, Danny, but 
not right now. I mean, I don't think that you just listen to that song and you cry. And you put it on the phone. <laughs> yeah. And I couldn't stop crying. It's like a, it's a cry button for you. Yeah. It really is yeah, a cry button. Yeah, I don't button. know why. It's yeah, it hits you. Yeah, it hits me. I mean, it's... It, but it's everything been about me for so many years. Everything like, about that that little sequence is meant. It's like we're gonna make people cry. Yeah. So, yeah. Let me see what other movies. I mean, I do like the Marvel movies. I know that people think that being a Disney fan is like lame, and I know that they're like the one of the biggest corporations, like media corporations on earth, and I know they like their morals. Um, you know, are not, you know, are questionable at best. I know there's so many things that are wrong about such a big, big company. Oh, but sometimes they do amazing stuff. So I I have to, um, I have to uh, admit that I, as a, you know, kid that was, um, grew up, you know, loving comic books, but then, you know, people making fun of the fact that you like comic books because it was like a lame thing um, for me to, to then, you know, 20 years later have my vengeance <laughs> saying and saying, these are some of the coolest stories like ever. Mm -hmm. And everyone was, was in theaters like cheering and crying. It just made me feel amazing. It just almost, it's not validation, but it's like, Oh, now a lot of people realize that yeah, you know, we are these, all feeling these characters the same. can be cool. Like um, that was that was kind of nice for me. So if I had to pick one of those, I think I mean Endgame is cool, but Infinity War I think is my my favorite. Mm -hmm. So um, what else? Let me see. I'm trying to to have like a big, like a broad. Um, uh, let me. Th let me think. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, you know which movies I l really like? Maybe which some one? people here. I don't think you've ever seen it with me. Which one? There's a um, mockumentary. Do you know what, what yeah, that is? Yeah, I know yeah. That, it, what that So is. that is called... Um, actually, no, that's not a mockumentary. That one's an actual documentary. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Trekkies. Trekkies. So it's from all these people that are S Star Trek fans. Oh no, I've never seen it. I and I have and I know nothing about Star Trek. Nothing. Like I, I think I watched like the new movies, but I know nothing. And maybe like in the early 90s I watched like the television show. Mm -hmm. Maybe some Sundays I would, you know, I would uh I would be in home, I would be in you know, my mother's house and um we would put it on the TV, but but did you saw the Trekkies one or Trekkies two? Because I'm seeing there's two. Oh no, the one that's done in the '90s. Yeah, '97. Yeah, so Trekkies one. Yeah, I really like that. <laughs> it's so weird. I loved it. I really, really like that. And in mockumentaries, um, what's it called? Dog show? Could you could you search for that? I don't know if I have that. Um, if I have that right, if I'm Dog getting that. Show? Yeah. Because I remember I, s I saw a very good uh, mockumentary, but I don't remember the name. Um, yeah, there is one. No, is it? Dog Show? Best in Show? Best in Show. That's okay. the one. Yeah, I haven't seen that. It's amazing. It is amazing. There's a lot of... Um, it's always like the same cast with. Mm. Uh, <laughs> she's she's amazing. Oh, you should watch it. We should we should. Uh, let me see if I could um, get that movie, and we should watch it. I I used to love that movie. Okay, we could we could see it. And it's kind of cringy. I think a lot of people wouldn't, you know, that would be the reason for a lot of people not liking it. But um, I love it. Um. So I was looking. Mm. You're missing, you know. I'm. I'm. I thought I was gonna have a hard time just uh, saying any movie, but I think. Uh, I think those are. Those I are kind good. of pushed you. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't ready for that. Through it. But now it's your turn. You could Mine? No, yeah. no, no. I'm. I'm not gonna say anything. Like what? I just said 
Toy Story. Yeah. Uh, Mary and Max. Yeah. Uh, Dear Zachary. Yeah, that's. And I mean. I'm done. Like I, I don't know. Like I have a lot of movies in my head, but at the moment I, I have, zero. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I'm I'm bad with that questions that are like. Yeah, on the spot questions. Yeah, like. Say your favorite song now. I'm like, I don't have one. I, I just, I don't. Yeah. But I have a favorite song and you know it. <laughs> no, never mind. Let's go to commercials. Cut <laughs> to commercials. <laughs> it says top 100 films of all time. Could you guess the first one? Oh. It says of all time. Oh my God. I don't know based on what. Oh, The Godfather or like uh, Casablanca? Or nope. What? Number three is Titanic. Oh, it's probably, it's probably, um, um, Orson Welles one. Um, uh, what's it called? Um, oh God, I can't do this at the same. It was Avatar. What? Oh, oh, grossing movies. No, it says. Top 100 films of all time. Oh, stop it. Yeah, Worldwide we can, gross. No, no, no. We can... Uh, what's gross? gross? No, gross is uh, how much money they made in the oh. world. Oh. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no. And and I was thinking uh, Citizen Kane. Um, no, no. So, oh my God. If that was going to be the list, I would have... So, I would tell if you. Avatar is number one. Yeah. And number three is Titanic. Yeah. Which one do you think is number two? Avengers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I kind of knew that. Which one? I th it, it, it's probably, it, it's either... Um, no, uh, you have to say one. To win uh, the lottery. The thing is, I don't know which one did better. To if win Infinity the lottery. War. Uh, I'm going to say Endgame. Correct. Yeah. Number four. And uh, uh, Infinity War. Nope. Uh, Spider-Man. Number five is Infinity War. And number six is Spider-Man. But no, number four is another one. Oh, wait. Because number six is uh, No Way Home. The Spider-Man one. Yeah. What? Really? Yeah, the six. Oh, my Number God. Number six. Number five, Infinity War. Number four, you're trying to guess. That is craziness. Well, we already did, like, the James Cameron movies. We already did Titanic and um, Avatar, which is crazy that the same director can have two movies, two of the, like, um, biggest grossing movies ever. Um, so, Jade Pinera is saying... What am I missing? Spider-Man No Way Home is making more money than Titanic. So, according to the web page I'm seeing, yeah. So, try to guess according to the web page I'm seeing, because I don't know if it's like a hundred percent. I'm just accurate, like I knew. I knew a lot of the Marvel movies uh, were there, uh, and for sure, of, of course, um, Avatar and uh, Titanic. But I'm trying to think. Oh, Harry Potter, maybe. Nope. No. Nope. Harry Potter oh, is Oh, no, no, no. I, I think 14. I know this. I think I know this. It's, um, it's, uh, it's episode seven. Yeah. Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And number seven, and I, and I quit because I've been annoying with this. No, no. Number seven? Yeah. Another Marvel movie? Nope. No? Uh, the Avengers is number nine. The Avengers. But no. So let me refresh your mind and everyone's mind if they want to play with us. Number one, Ava Avatar. Mm -hmm. Number two, Avengers Endgame. Number mm -hmm. three, Titanic. Number four, Star Wars Episode Seven. Yeah. Number five, Avengers Infinity War. Yeah. Number six, Spider-Man No Way Home. Number seven oh. is... It was a movie from 2015. 2015. Mm -hmm. So it's not a Harry Potter movie? Nope. No? No, no, no. I told you. Uh, Harry Potter. The most popular of the Harry Potter's one is number... Wait, because I don't see it now. 14. Oh, wow. Oh. Is it a Marvel movie? Nope. No? No, I think you've asked about that. And I told you that Marvel's uh, The Avenger... The Avengers, yeah, but is nine, but no. Yeah, but yeah, you're right. Like, it, there's nothing else that would compete aside from like Spider-Man. Um, 
Wow. And I'm seeing that I'm Frozen 2. Oh. Frozen. No, no, no. That's not the seventh. But Frozen 2 did better than Frozen 1. What? Well. Frozen 2 is uh in spot 11. And yeah. Frozen, the original, 17. Yeah. But that kind of happens with sequels that are huge. Uh, um, Jose Fails was saying sequels Hunger of a huge Games. Movie. No. Nope. Oh, no, no. Marcus Paul Martin said Fast and Furious the 7. No. Nope. Oh, that, but that's a good guess, too. Yeah, because that's number 10. Yeah, that's, that's a, a good very. Guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jair Pinero said, Is it an Indian movie? Nope. Uh, what? What are, we, what are we missing here? Do you want a clue? Well, 2015, 2015. Let's Let me try to think of 2015. Jeez, uh, what was... Box office was 1,670. One, one billion. Yeah, one probably. billion, 670. Yeah. yeah. Uh, over a billion. It was from Universal Pictures, distributed by Universal Pictures. Oh, my God. I'm drawing a blank, like really, really drawing a blank. Because I don't know if you liked it that much. Mm. I don't even know if you've seen it. I think you've seen it. Probably. I, I think I've seen most of the grossing, um, like highest grossing movies. Oh. It was a remake. A remake? Yeah, like it, it's been done before. Yeah, yeah. no, I, <laughs> I get it. No, no, no. But, but, but why no, did no, no, but I was thinking <laughs> like, what? Uh, <laughs> is it like a Disney? One of those Disney nope. remakes? No. It's a Universal Pictures. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, what? The first movie. Yeah. Of that, like the original What one? year was that? 1993. Oh, come on. I should know this. These yeah. are like best. These are like super good clues. I'm going to feel so stupid when you tell me. So, um... What is it? Or somebody get it? Wait, because I'm going to read what they're trying to say. Uh, uh, Jair Piñero was saying Matrix? No. No. Ariel Sternberg said Chihiro? No. No. Um, Jose Fail said Interstellar? Nope. That's Max Ignatov said Bla Blade Runner 2049. Oh, no. but that's not, that can't be like highest grossing. Mia Araujo said Mad Max. Uh, oh. Max Ignatov said La La Land. Nope, nope. Um, until Dawn Studio said, what about questions regarding the painting? So let us uh, finish these and I'm going <laughs> to ask some Danny's questions. Like, regarding oh, and you can always ask questions. Like, yeah, regarding yeah, yeah. No, painting. you can ask them, but... Sometimes when we are like, in, like when I am super into another conversation, I would end that conversation and then go back. She to will painting, block so. you. No, never, never. Cody Winicky said King Kong. Nope. Jose Fail said Batman. No. I Max think we're, Dignitov said Godzilla. I think we're lost. Uh, yeah. Then, yeah. You should tell us. No, no. Yeah. So Ibrahim Salah got it. Finally. He Googled it, but. You're not going to judge. Jurassic Park. Oh, really? Really. Oh. Okay, so Until Dawn Studio said, okay, well, I guess no, LOL, so weird. About the questions regarding painting. Oh. Uh, the thing is that we here talk about everything. Yeah, like we no, could spend don't worry. All what, what, what do you want to ask? Like, of no, course, I'm gonna we're going to go back to... Uh, of of they were course, saying, we're going we're gonna to So answer. you never use palette knife to mix colors, right? No, is this? Um, yeah, until dawn studio. So until dawn, until dawn is a it's a video game studio. Uh, until dawn, uh, no, I don't. I, I um, if you watch like most of um, our videos, what I do with my palette knife is not really mix, is just um, make uh, soft kind of irregular edges. Like that's what I like my knife uh, uh, to serve. Yeah. Right? As as a um, as a tool, that's what I'm most interested with my knife. But no, the um, the mixing I do just open palette. Yeah, and until done, studio was also asking from photo or from live. 
So no, that's a photo, and that's with Danny. Um, yeah, it's in the corner, in the left uh, corner down, so you can see it there. Um, okay, so uh, Ibrahim Salah said no, they weren't. Um, I'll googling. Googling. So, oh, yeah. and until Don Studio you know, said thank you for Ibrahim, your answer. Oh. Ibrahim, I I have to tell you that it's super hard for me. To not think of uh, Mo Salah, Mohammed Salah, when, when yeah, I hear you, your name. You yeah. loved him. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You love him. Yeah, yeah. I, so. and, and don't take that the bad way. It's just that I am I'm a very, yeah, very you're big always fan. Re reminded oh, about every, him. Oh, like every second, I feel. So of you my just, days. I think you smile every time I read yeah. something from Ibrahim Salah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, does Ibrahim like uh, soccer, maybe? Football. Football? Oh, yeah. football, soccer? Well, for us, uh, Danny Alita. Colombians, it's football, yeah. We say, yeah, but, but, in but out of respect, no, out of respect for uh, football, okay. for football, we're going to always say football. Okay. I always say football. I, I do don't know say if you've football too. But the thing is that in United States, football, they think about like um, football americano. Yeah, but these are, these are, you know, people that are lost, so... <laughs> Um. Uh, let's see. But I love that there were a lot of people interacting with the, with the movie. I wouldn't have. I don't think I would have guessed it. It's not a great movie. I saw and I saw it. I saw it in the theaters. I feel, but um, yeah, not great. Mm. So would you guess the eighth one? No. <laughs> Just the eight, number eight. It's also a remake. It was made in 2019. 2019? That was easy. Yeah. I don't know. I think you haven't seen it. It it was just made. I mean, 2019 is like a year ago. Um. Uh, and the first one, mm. uh, like the original one, yeah, was 1994. What? This one's a very easy one. Is it? Easy. Well, it's it easy is. when you're looking at it. What was 2019? Like a Terminator one or Transformers one or... I what was a remake? I'm trying to remember. I don't know if I remember. <laughs> Max Ignatov said, let's guess all top 100. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're not leaving. I would be. Oh, up my for God. It. Don't, yeah, don't, <laughs> don't give Danny ideas. No, but I think that every live stream can be different. I mean. Oh, yeah. This one would this be. This is hell. reality. No, why hell? So, a very um, good uh, clue. What's that? We were talking about the original movie. Mm -hmm. When we were talking about the hundred, the ten favorite movies for both of us, I'm not gonna say who say it, who said it, but we mentioned that movie. You either you or or me? Yeah. You or I? Yeah, not the remake, but the original one we mentioned. I'm like giving you everything. Yeah, I'm trying to pay attention while I'm painting. I don't know if my brain can do both things. Um. What did what did I say or what did you say? <laughs> oh, Lion King? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It made that much money? Yeah, that much. That's it's crazy. a billion six. It's crazy. I think. New new movies are just yeah. different than, than the rest. And just as a uh, for finishing this Oh my what? Just a funny one. The number the number one hundred. Oh stop it. I mean Which was what, it? <laughs> whatever it's whatever. <laughs> Two thousand nine. Uh, hey, what? 2019. I'm sorry. Also? Yeah. I don't know. Also? Uh, Aladdin, the remake. No. <laughs> nope. It's not a remake, but it's number two of a movie. The second? The Frozen. second, yeah. No, I told you Frozen 2 was like number 10. Frozen 3. No, because I told you it's number two of some movie. Uh, the first movie they did of that. Yeah. Was 2016. Yeah, that's nothing one? to me. You know, 
post pandemic <laughs> those those years mean nothing max ignatov said tarzan oh i lost <laughs> yeah it was lion king mm. nothing i i don't know no i'm having a hard time thinking to to tell you the truth the actor oh god is very famous oh great very very famous <laughs> And the name and the last name starts with R. I and it Danny, it's like I a tongue twi tongue no oh dumb. tongue twist twister. Oh God no, I don't know I don't no, know. No. I'm gonna give up. I'm I give up. Uh, White flag. It White was flag. Deadpool number two. Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds is a yeah, tongue Ryan twister. Ryan. Kind of no. It it kind of rhymes. <gasps> yeah, Marcus Paul Martins was right, and Max Ignatov was right too. It was Deadpool too. Well, they're looking at the same web page you're, you're looking at. <laughs> Maybe, but I trust them. Mm. Mia Araujo also th said Deadpool. Yeah, everyone's looking at the same. <laughs> Belt said Robert Redford. <laughs> oh, haha. No, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. It's kind of say. It Four times. No. Fast. Ryan Reynolds. Y you you say it. No, I can't. Yeah, it's kind can. of a um, tongue twister, I think. But let's get back to... To painting. Yeah. The pear. To talking about... Has, it has things. like an avocado color. You know, uh, Iwan said, nice avocado gives me hunger. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I just... Without really intending it, it does have like a like a very avocado color. And Javi Javi was saying, "Saludos, ya se me antojo la pera. I need some lunch." Muy bien. Mm. Ya se me antojo la pera. Sí. ¿Qué es eso? <laughs> Ay, eh. ya se me antojo la pera. <laughs> Paston was asking, had you thought about painting on the other side of the paper instead of painting over it? Oh, but I wanted to to um, to like get a feel for the surface. I actually really like when um, when I paint on top of paintings. And because I've been painting so much on raw paper, uh, it's really fun to go back to a surface that is um, that is not as absorbent. Uh, I don't know if. I like it more or less. To be honest, I'm I'm growing way too accustomed to uh, to raw absorbent surfaces, so maybe I'm a little bit biased here, and I I kind of miss um, the way I paint with a with a super absorbent uh, surface. But this is nice. It just makes it different again, and you know we often talk about that. That. Um, It's uh, it's kind of cool <laughs> to uh, to keep yourself on your toes, like just you know change things up so that um, it it's never you're never quite too com too comfortable. <laughs> What's happening over there? No, no, I just uh, saw that Jose Fail sent a potato emoji, and I was oh. Thinking. So Isaac McDonald was asking, "Are yeah. you painting on a flat table or an easel?" It's a table that you can uh, move. Kind of prop. Upwards. It's a, it's almost like a, it's like a, like a drawing table angle. or like a, think of it like an animator's table or something. It's not that. It's just a table that you can prop up. Yeah. And it's in a 45 angle. Yeah. Degree. The, kind of. Kind of. Ish. Ish. Yeah. Uh, until Don Studio was saying, so raw paper works. I mean, in the long term, the painting would last. Yes. Um So maybe maybe you're not um, until dawn. Maybe you're not super familiar with our channel, but you could check a lot of the videos out that we've done. Maybe for the past, I'm gonna say year, or maybe a little less than in a paper? year. In paper, I yeah. think it's more. For, uh, I think that started in the first year of our painting. Yeah, lives. so you, you so can, maybe two years. Yeah, but but a uh, year and a half for sure. Mm -hmm. And you can see the um, the paintings that we've done. And what's cool is that because they're paintings that we sell, um, there's there's a lot of people in our community that have uh, supported us buying those paintings. And they could tell you. They could tell you if the paintings are holding up or not. But, I mean, this is not like a chance thing. Like, I can assure you that the paintings are fine. So, 
Oh. Yeah, you can paint on raw paper, for sure. Um, Belt was saying, wait, wait, wait. Um, I loved licorice pizza. Licorice, what? Licorice oh, pizza. Blocked. But I, no, no, no. Blocked. What's that? Licorice. Licorice pizza, but it. It had really mixed reviews for some reason. Oh, I the movie. Oh, yeah, my God. Like, I'm like, why were you like block? Oh, block, my what? God. The move. You know, my brain is like, I thought he was like <laughs> talking about like a um, food. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, my God. My my super. brain is, is, is out. <laughs> I would try a licorice. Pizza. Oh, my God. No, I like licorice. See, that's that's what happens when you put me in like um, food mode when we do. um <laughs> Well, we weren't in a food mood. Yeah, we were talking about the pear. And well, you're painting a pear, yeah, but that's it. I mean, maybe. <laughs> um, but did you saw the movie? I haven't seen it. No, I kind of, I've, I kind of know what it's about, but, um, but yeah, a lot of people are, um, are super happy with that movie. So, for you to be in context, yeah, Who? I'm talking about Me? you, Nicolas. Me. I'm talking okay. about. Like I'm reading comments that yeah. were made when we were talking about movies. Yes. So for you to know that I'm talking about movies. Okay. Oh, so not food. No. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is pizza? No, I'm joking. Oh, God, uh, Max Ignatov said, speaking about Wes Anderson. Yes. Have you seen his res recent French Dispatch? Yeah. Story about the artist is amazing. So the story about the artist, we've seen it. Yeah. The thing is that we had to stop the movie. And we haven't finished it. Yeah. We have to. We have to. Because yeah, we that, were enjoying that sounds it terrible. a lot. No, that's a, yeah, that sounds terrible. No, but, but we didn't stop it because we were like tired. But the thing is that like life happened and we had a lot of things to do. And then we, I don't know why we hadn't re-watched it. Elden Ring happened. Yeah, well, for you. Yeah. And for me, like sleeping <laughs> happened. <laughs> Um, let's see. Mm. It's so slippery now that I, I've gotten so used to, um, to painting on, on, um, absorbent surfaces. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I Feels feel like, weird. yeah, I feel like, uh, doing a, you know, what is essentially a far more traditional painting mm -hmm. feels so strange, feels like super foreign. I told you, but um, maybe I can tell everyone. We were talking about uh, the largest paintings we've painted mm -hmm. some streams ago. Yeah. And I uh, cut the painting that I've done, the biggest painting I've done. Yeah. And I have some pieces of linen. They're painted. Canvas. Canvas, yeah. yeah. But you can uh, use it if you want. I have like big pieces if you want to yeah, try. Yeah, I, I'm, no, I, I think, and you showed those to me the other day, but I'm super grateful. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. I don't know if they're that useful. Cause no, they're, they're super useful. It's okay. just that I, I've, I'm becoming, you know, I hopefully it's not uh, completion, but, um, but I'm just becoming uh, connected with uh, with paper, mm -hmm. you know, very very connected. Yeah, no, with no, no. Paper, I'm just so. saying, like, if but you maybe want to try, like, no. just a day, like, let's try and go back, or if you want a bigger format, it's there. But you don't but have to feel you. for us too. Oh no, you know I don't. But use it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, no, no. But you, you know that I. Yeah. I have no, 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 no. And you know that I cut it not because you wanted to paint, but because I wanted to take it down. It was in my yeah. parents' house. It was a painting I did a long, long time ago. Yeah. And or I didn't maybe, like it that much. Maybe you can use it if you if you decide to do um, painting for uh, for the um, visual correspondence. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. My cousin Kakairo was saying, mm. Danny, Danny like dices. What? <laughs> Danny like dices, <laughs> la que tenía tu mamá en el hall. Sí, la, la desmonté y la corté. Y tengo pedacitos acá. Pero sí es esa. Creo que esa fue como mi segunda pintura en general. No creo. 
Ter... Sí. No creo. Yo creo claro, que con Camilo dice... hiciste más pinturas. No, un do... bueno, mi cuarta pintura. Ah. ¿Será uno? Por ahí, sí. Sí, sí, sí. Mi primera pintura de mm. gran formato. Y única. Por ahora. Eh, Iván dice, jajaja, ja, ja, me acordé que un alumno me dijo algo sobre pintar con la paleta de Anderson. Entre comillas. Eh, ¿Qué? Entre paréntesis. Zorn. Ah, ah, de Anderson. Ay, Anderson. Anderson Mosquera. Grande. Muy bien, muy chévere. <risa> Pero hoy no estamos pintando con... Con Anderson. Con Anderson, no. Ni con Zorn. No. Qué chévere. Ya en español voy a decir Anderson todas sí. las veces, sí. O le puedes meter Anderson. No, Anderson. 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 Eh, Divino. Sí. Mm. Mario Sinkemani said Nicolás... Ah, oh, no, question for Nicolás. Yes. At what time do you wake up every day throughout the week? Oh, wait, like, this, the, today it was terrible. It's different because we have a week where uh, Nicolás... Uh, son and daughter stay with us and we have a week that we are just both of us and it's 4.30 for you yeah when, when they're here when they're here they because have they school get, yeah they get they have to wake up super early yeah bus picks them up very super early, early. So. yeah and it's like before six I would say the rest of the days that they're yeah happy. it's not like like uh When someone fed are here, it's uh, super early. And, and then, then it's when they're like not here, it's you know. like nine. No, no, no. It's, uh, it, I always, I'm, I'm a super morning person. So I can be fine waking up at, you know, five, maybe every day, 5.30 for sure. Yeah. And the thing is that you never, well, when they're here, yes, because you have to be up at a certain hour but when they're not here you don't use an alarm ever it's oh, like no. your body wakes up yeah yeah. The thing yeah. is that your body alarm it's yeah. like we're up and it's 3 a.m yeah so today was like two what three something yeah today was like i don't know why i woke up so early and then i i i don't know i did like wordle Like the four wordles that Danny and I play. <laughs> and then I <laughs> saw, I don't know what I was looking at my cell phone for. But then um, then I closed my eyes for like what was two minutes and then the alarm went off. And um, and then it's just like I have to wake Samu up. Um, and when? And uh, he leaves. And then as soon as he leaves, I have to wake Fed up yeah. and um, make a breakfast. And then um, that's it. So and yeah. no, and then uh, go downstairs with Fer. Oh yeah, yeah. For her to be picked up. You know, I uh, kind of always hear when you close the door to. It's a with loud door. Fer. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Because of that, but because that's the time. Because my first alarm. Yeah. Is at six twenty five. Yeah. So it's like. I think you always go uh, downstairs, maybe 6.30. Yeah. Like 6.29, 6.30. Yeah. So I always That sounded listen way to too that. specific, but... Yeah, but, but it, it's yeah. like super precise. So I always feel like 6.30, it's going to be like the bus is just going to be turning the corner. So if we can make it like a minute earlier, we're good. Um, oh, wait. I'm going to go for my phone because I have to be... Okay. And we can change phones. Uh, is it I'm nine percent, so I think I'm good for okay, like okay. a little bit. Okay. Mm, so you can talk, or not. Uh, should we do like silence, I like radio <laughs> silence? Uh, no. So I wasn't expecting. Um, I thought I was gonna do like a modeling thing with this pair, and but I wasn't expecting the surface to be super slippery, and it is super super slippery. This is not an excuse, by the way. It, it just is it is what it is and when i say slippery i don't mean that the surface you know um is inherently slipper, slippery it's just that i am so used to um doing something that is that feels so so different when i'm doing um when i've 
you know, with the paintings that I've been doing for the past year and a half, that uh, that it was like it's it's very it's beautiful. It's eye opening. Um, it, I almost feel like how did I paint, you know, these paintings when the surface was so slippery? Uh, because uh, some of the first paintings that I think we did for our painted lives were done. Well, not I don't think I know were done with a um, with a transparent acrylic binder as um, as a a sort of sealer slash ground slash primer for um, for the paintings. So I'm I don't even remember what that felt like. Like my body doesn't even recall what it felt painting like that. So that's how big um, painting on paper has become for me. So it is it is really amazing. I I, I find it super super interesting. Vamos a buscar con nosotros dice Hi Nico y Dani. Hola, vamos a buscar. How is Dan today? I woke up bilingüe. <laughs> Todo perfecto. Yeah. Este es el best place for eso. Perfecto. <laughs> Iván dice eh, pero me demoré en entender el asunto. Yo era como quién rayos es Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> Sí, de pronto Ay, ya estaría pero perdida. El... Pero si a ti te dicen, oiga, esa no es la paleta de Anderson, yo diría, ¿quién es Anderson? O sea, me demoraría igual un poquito y después diría, ah, de pronto sí, ya, ya entendí que. Sí, 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 es sí. Lo que pero, pero puede entiendo estar que a uno le, le puede costar. Max Ignatov was saying, uh, What time do you guys go to sleep? It also Five o'clock. <laughs> It depends, but if we could go to bed. Um, when we want to, we would be sleeping by seven. No, no, but that's not true. I mean, <laughs> no, I'm we're, joking. No, but we seven thirty. <laughs> we go to bed maybe nine, maybe ten. No, I like think maybe ten. L lay on bed. We lay on our bed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. From nine, maybe we see something like, like a show we, or yeah, something like that. Yeah, we could see a series, a show, whatever. And then we go to sleep. So like 10, I'm going to say that maybe even 10.30 now. Yeah. 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 Last night we were, uh, we were good citizens and we were watching like a, a presidential debate. debate yeah. So. Mm, Marcel was asking, is this your first fruit still life? No. First I've seen from your hand. No, you've done a lot. Uh, not a lot. No, but, but you've done a couple. I'm sorry. Yeah, for our painted lives, we did a couple. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not... I don't really think of, um, you know, still lives as like a subject matter. I, you know, it, it sounds weird, but I just kind of see it in this... In this, I don't know, my brain almost says it's, al it's kind of like the same thing if I paint... Not the same thing. I'm not equating it to thing, but... In my brain, if I paint fair, for example, or if I paint a pear, I know, like, nobody has to explain to me that they're not the same thing, but there's a part of my brain that says, you know, it's the same thing. It's just, it's painting. It's an exercise in painting. So I'm pretty bad with subject matter, like, understanding subject matter that way, because I think I always, for me, it always kind of goes back to just seeing it as painting. Um, so... Yeah, I know it sounds weird, but I can't lie to you. The easiest thing to say is, no, of course, subject matter is important and each subject matter demands that you think about it differently and paint it differently. But the truth for me is that there's like this thing that binds it all together that is paint. So I don't, I, I can't lie to you and tell you that Oh, yeah, sure. Like now I'm painting fruit and these are like the top tips, you know, to to keep in mind when painting fruit. I, I don't think that way. So you've even painted another pair. I remember. Yeah. At the like at the it's one of the very very first, beginning. Yeah. Yeah. We painted it's maybe a pear. like week two. We painted three. an apple like a green apple. Yeah. Yeah. But the, in that week, no, later. No, later. later. On. Yeah. yeah, much later. Because I remember that week you did like a bowl with um, arandanos. Oh, yeah. Like blueberry. We did like blueberries. Yeah. Uh, you did, oh, I did a, a banana, banana peel, yeah. I think, or a, ba a banana peel, I think. I did a banana peel and uh, a, a banana. I did a banana peel, a banana, a bunch of bananas. Mm -hmm. 
Um, no, no, no. I think we're, you know, we've, I mean, we've not exhausted the fruit uh, universe, <laughs> but uh, we haven't avoided fruits. Yeah. Let's just call it that. Mm, Hannah was saying, Nicolas and Danny, have you seen Andy Warhol's diary documentary no, on Netflix? I saw Interesting. Yeah, I just put it on our list. Yeah, I saw I saw Peggy uh, on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. Peggy from Townsend Atelier. So if you guys want to, um, if you ever want to do, uh, if you're ever around the uh, Chattanooga, uh, around Chattanooga, around Tennessee, um, and if you want to do workshops with. Uh, some of the most amazing people I've met in my life, both Peggy and Stan, um, you you should go to uh, Townsend Atelier. And they have amazing teachers there also. Um, so I, I, I noticed that Peggy uh, put that. And yeah, it, I, I mean, I read a little bit of what, what was there, that it's, uh, you know, it's his diary after he got shot. So uh, that should be you. super interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I read a book once uh, about this collector that chases a Warhol. You know, he, he wasn't like a huge collector, but he wanted to buy one of the wig paintings of Warhol. And I forget what the book was called, but it was super entertaining when I read it. So I would recommend it for people. Um, my, no, search for Warhol, my first Warhol. Do you want me to search uh, for it? Yeah, book, book. Book about buying a Warhol wig painting. Maybe, yeah, I know, I know. I just, I, a Warhol wig painting? It's a wig self portrait. It's a self portrait with a wig. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm. Nothing? It's like my. F I sold Andy Warhol too soon. No, no, no. That's oh, not what a lovely Warhol. No, no. Book mm. about... I bought Andy Warhol, but maybe? Richard Polsky. Yeah, maybe that's it. Because this is that's the other the one. one. That's Look. the one. No, 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 no. Because that's, that's, um, that's one of his self-portraits with the wig. Um, yeah. So what is it called? I bought... Uh, I bought Andy Warhol. There we go. That sounds kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. But it's super interesting. It's really, really interesting. It's a nice kind of um, not an X-ray into the uh, the world of of auctioning and buying paintings, but because he's not a millionaire, the person that ends up buying that um, that um, I guess photograph, I guess uh, no uh, silk screen. You know, he's not a millionaire by any means, but uh, it's super, super interesting what he has to go through to to try and get one of these paintings and one of these um silk screens so because i think the one of i sold andy warhol was also about a painting with a wig really yeah maybe maybe that's the second book he wrote is it the same author and then he it's sold it richard polsky yeah. i don't remember the other one I yeah 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 oh so maybe he he bought it and then he sold it and that's the thing that's mm. like that was the... Um, no, wait, because... Wait, what? Okay. Wait. We're lost. Because uh, they were saying... Uh, I know that the one that you said is the one that I read, for sure, 100%. Mm, I don't know. Okay. I just closed the tab. Oh, okay. That was... <laughs> That was the uh, I give up uh, tab, like close tab. No, because the thing is that it was a like a blog. Oh, okay. so there were people there were people talking about the book. Yeah, but they were like taking so long to to let me know what. If it's <laughs> a, if but if it's the same author. No, but I, I, I think it wasn't the same author. Wait, no, now I have to. I'd say it's super simple to. Um, Yeah, Richard Polsky and Richard Polsky. 
Okay, so yeah, so, so it it's makes maybe sense. number one, number two. Yeah, so the the yeah, because it's I bought Andy Warhol and then I sold Andy Warhol there we too go. soon. There we go. So, so yeah, that's um, I haven't read that one. The second. But you part. know what? I'm seeing that they bought an actual actual wig. That's what I was reading in the comments. That he bought an actual wig. Yeah, look. And I'm seeing that they have oh, the wigs Oh, no here. way. So no Richard way. Polsky bought an actual wig. Oh, That's so what I was reading. And I was like, is it the wig? Or is it no, like no, the art they made with the yeah, wig? No, but no, I no. think it's the actual wig because it's here now. Yeah, the one that I the one that I read, no. It's, he just bought one of those silk, silk screens. But I'm guessing that maybe he thought that as a companion to that piece, it would be awesome to have one of the wigs. So he bought... A wig. Maybe. Yeah, I have to read more. Because, as I said, it I saw sense. all the information in a No, but it makes blog, sense. So. And, and it seems that, like, maybe he sold that. I mean, a lot of people that, that buy stuff that, you know, they're investing in art. They're not really doing it for, um, you know, because they love, they absolutely love and have to have, like, a, one of those um, Warhol self-portraits. Self no, they... They know that they'll eventually want to sell it, especially if he hypes everything up by writing a book about it. So, mm, Hannah was saying, you have to see it, love the whole experience and atmosphere they have created around his story, the music, the pictures, videos and close friends talking about him. He had struggled all his life from the rejection of the art world and how he wasn't regarded an artist because he traced He was a sign painter, wasn't he? Like originally a sign painter. Mm. Cody Winicky said, I asked my mentor in school how to paint water and he just said, the same way you painted that face and that always talked with me. Yeah. It seems obvious, but still fli flipped the switch in my brain. Yeah. And Guy Bailey said, haha. Who, who was this, Cody? I, and can do you would you mind me asking, like, um, and I know this is like sort of a personal question, but I, I always refer to my teachers as my teachers. I don't think I ever refer to them as mentors. Is there like a difference maybe in that? Because I've I've noticed that a lot of people do use that term in art, especially with painting so mm -hmm. but i've never ever used it or thought about using it so i wonder i i'm wondering if there's like um there's a reason for it like if it's somebody that you choose to work under for many years or i don't know mm, guy bailey said haha i agree if i ever see a youtube tutorial on how to paint x for example a tree i will yeah. not watch it a painting is a second dimension abstraction, so subject is not important in my view. Mm. Mm. Andrés Gómez dice, para mí Anderson solo hay uno, Mr. <laughs> Anderson, <laughs> mejor Mr. conocido Anderson. como Neo. Mr. Anderson. Ya ahora hay dos. Anderson. A mí me dolió tanto El de esa la paleta. segunda... Matrix, la, la, la secuencia esa con la que pelea con todos los agentes, yo me la vi en cine y yo decía... Uy, ¿Decepción es... total? Sí, fue como... Uy, es, es como que uno por dentro, porque es que yo soy muy fan de la primera. Es que fue muy buena. Sí, la primera es como seguramente de las pelis más importantes de la historia del cine, yo creo. Y... Y... Uf, es que... Yo me acuerdo cuando yo vi la primera, yo dije, se acabó. O sea, esto no es una serie, esto no es una trilogía, esto no es nada. Ya, se acabó. Sí, yo tampoco pensé que le iban a sacar. el elegido y ya, tiene superpoderes. O sea, iba a volver nada la Pero la yo creo que esa es una de las que la embarraron sacando dos. Pues, pero se hicieron su pues plata. Pues plata, sí, es plata, pero... Pero, digamos, Toy Story nunca la embarró sacando. Digan lo que digan... Pues, pues. No, para mí todas tenían cabida en mi corazón. Unas mejores que otras. Pues obvio, pero igual no es como, uy, no. 
Yo hubiera podido vivir sin la... Sin la... ¿La última? Sí, yo creo. Pero era como el cierre. Pero yo en todas sentí el cierre. <risa> Marcial was saying, Nicolás, you have done so much in art. Have you ever restored a painting? No, no, never. I don't know how to do that. No, those people are, I mean, you gotta, you gotta study for that. But um, no, I, I'm sure I would ruin a painting if they gave it to me to restore. Which I'm kind of opposed to, so. Um, let's see. So top 100 paintings again. What? <laughs> I'm joking. Um, but if you want. No. There can't be a list. How do you, what do you, how do you measure that? Mm. There can't be. That's, that's dumb. I refuse. No, because if you're talking about the, the, uh, what? money. How, but how do you, like, how do you price a Rembrandt as a, you know, how do you do that? You can't do that. Did I say paintings? I was talking about the works of art. No, top 100 movies. Didn't I say movies? No, you said paintings. Oh, yeah. That's why. Yeah. I was like, w what are you asking? Like, how did they do it? Like, I just read the ranking. <laughs> like, we were just playing with the ranking. So, no, no, no. My, my bad. I was referring to movies. Mm. Let's see. I'm really, really, um, like, making the painting about kind of edges. It's breaking up quite a bit, but I like it. I don't mind what's going on. So we're going to keep doing that until it just feels like it's done. <laughs> but talking about uh, money and paintings, you could see, for example... Like the top top ten. Uh, oh, in auction that has yeah, gone auctions. to auction. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Number one being. I mean, uh, Picasso's there. Van Gogh is there. Uh, Bacon is there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, I forget now. Maybe others. Cezanne is there? Maybe I think so. No, I don't so. know because I just so. Oh, okay. Wait, yeah. You were like saying and saying, and I was just looking for the list. Mm. Let's see. So, according to this one, yeah, uh, there's uh, I think they're not in order, but uh, yeah, Da Vinci. Oh, the um, uh, what was it called? Da the Vinci. the one that they don't really know now if it's real if it's an actual Da Vinci. No, no, or no, not. the uh. Mona Lisa. Oh no, that's impossible. It that's says here. Yeah, but how? Like how much is it? It is a billion dollars. In 1962, the Mona Lisa was insured for a hundred million dollars. No, that's not even close. To In today's that. money, that would be around seven hundred million dollars, easily making it the most expensive painting ever. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I guess they have to insure it for something. So that's that's how you know, kind of like a price, but. It is so arbitrary, honestly. Like I said, a billion because, because it's it's just dumb, like a dumb amount of money now. So there is also uh, the Kooning. Really? Yeah, it is. Uh, that is one of the highest insured paintings in the world. Not insured. That's the thing. They talk about what? this one that was insured. Yeah. Like they're talking about how much money was around the painting because they're, they're talking about auctions but yeah. also about making a uh like insuring a painting so okay mm, yeah it says in the fall of 2015 ken griffin a billionaire edge fund investor hedge fund yeah uh procured two paintings from david geffen a successful business Magnat Magnati? 
Mag magnate. Magnate. Uh, who wears many hats. What? Uh, <laughs> I love what? that you read. <laughs> no, like what I am I reading? I love that you commit. You commit to reading then and I'm then like, you're like, what, what am I am reading? What am I reading? Yeah. One of the paintings was the 1955 painting by the Kooning. Yeah. Interchange. Uh, the price of that painting was $300 million. So that's how much he paid for, for that, painting. that painting. When? 1950? 1955. That's a lot of money for the 50s. Yeah. Yeah. Because he did an exchange. What? Of a grand total of five hundred million dollars. Okay, but that's a super early de Kooning too. Yeah, nineteen fifty de Kooning. Fifty five. Yeah. That's super. Wow. I yeah. would have thought it was a like a later de Kooning, but it is. Uh, well, many works with private buyers often. Go into private collections, not allowing the public access. Yeah. Mr. Griffin, who sits on the board of trustees of the Art Institute of, Institute oh. of Chicago, okay, so has loaned interchange. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then it is Gauguin. Then Cezanne. Mm -hmm. Pollock. Really. Rodko. Yeah. Rembrandt. Yeah. Picasso. Yeah. Modigliani. Yeah. And Pollock again. Wow. So all 20th, uh, with the exception of Rembrandt, all of them 20th century. That's yeah. um, very telling. Very telling. Mm. Marciel said, I imagine you could restore a Rembrandt. Oh, for <laughs> God's sakes, no. I would do. I would be like the uh, the Spanish old lady. Yeah, the beast Jesus. Yeah, I don't like to call. I don't like that. That's the name it had. No. Yeah, that that was the name. I don't like that one. Mm. I don't like the name. Uh, Cody Winicky, when you were asking about the mentor. Yes. Yes. Please. Said David Cristiana. Okay. Uh, he's an awesome painter slash illustrator. I think the term mentor is for me considering him as more of a formative presence for me than an than other teachers. Really, he was just another teacher, but a lot of the lessons he inst instilled instilled yeah instilled stick with me more than any other teacher. Kind of a kindred spirit. That's awesome. That's awesome. Mm, Guy Bailey said, Nicolas, I'm so impressed how you push new neutrals into more interesting colors, like the background in this study. Amazing. How do you decide color theory or simply pushing the colors you see? Yeah, just um, a lot has to do with temperature if I identify a hue. So if I identify temperature that I know is going to help me in constructing like relationships in a painting. So I'm going to push that. If I also identify certain hues, like certain, um, almost like a choreography of hues, you know, when I, when I say that, it's like, there's a little bit of, um, it feels yellower here against this place, which feels more orange, which feels uh, against a place that feels more red. So maybe they're kind of like analogous, but they're all kind of inscribed in this, you know, very neutral gray area. I start to break everything up a bit and, and then I'm trying to be super respectful of value so that my value ties it all together. I think that's what I do in terms of, of what could be considered like my color harmonies in a painting. Like I break them up, but then I try to um, give myself some, some help through the aid of, of value. Value will pull everything together. Now I'm like in a black hole of um yeah rabbit hole yeah, but this is an a black hole of um the art world and collectors. Yeah, yeah that is a dark place. Yeah. I mean, I'm seeing uh Francois mm? Pinault. Francois, maybe. Francois. 
Yeah. Or Francois. Yeah, we, could, we could call him that too. It's I mean, not only he's probably a billionaire then. <laughs> he is. Yeah. It's not only one of the richest self-made billionaires in France, but he's also an art collector of international renown mm -hmm. with a net worth of 54 billion. Oh, wow. That's a lot of money. What's that? Like That is that is an abstract amount of money. Yeah. What? Well, but you know what he doesn't have? One of our paintings. Or maybe he does. I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe he loves the... Maybe he's the owner of the first pair you did. Mm, no, I actually know who owns yeah, that Yeah, I, I know too. But maybe. Or maybe he backed uh, the book. Um, no, I don't think so either. <laughs> I don't think he hangs Just around... Maybe. I don't think he hangs around Kickstarter. Maybe. Um, you don't know. No. You don't know what he likes. No, nah, those people are weird. No, no. You don't know what he likes. Yeah, Maybe he loves money. He just backs every campaign. I doubt in it. Kickstarter. No, they love money. Just because. No. Um, Liad was asking you, Nicolas, how is Elden Ring going? I'm loving it. Oh, I am. See, so I beat I beat Margit, and I was moving towards the eastern, like northeastern part of that early map, until I got to. A, a spot in the castle where I was like, okay, this is tough. Like, this is objectively tough. So I I was like, I got to go elsewhere. You know, I, I can't, I refuse to believe that um, because the game is pushing you towards the castle, that that's the only path that you can take. Like, that that's the only path that makes sense. So I started going um, uh, west, I think, initially. And uh, just just really going to all the um, caves and and uh, um, and then I started going south, and I'm doing good. I beat the dragon that's at the lake. Uh, yesterday I beat a dude, or not yesterday, the day before I beat a dude that's in this um, circle thing that you have to fight him. Like you 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 kind of teleport to where he is and. And he gives you like his weapon, which is a weapon that I had seen a lot of people have, which is this kind of curved sword. That's um, it's pretty good, but it's uh, it's kind of heavy for me. So yeah, so I'm doing a lot of stuff that's not. And I'm sorry, this is Elden Ring. Um, this is the Elden Ring moment. So no, that's perfect. Us. So I'm doing a lot of stuff, uh, Liat, that uh, doesn't have anything to do with uh, with this, you know, with where the game is pushing you to go but it's amazing it's really really amazing um and now yeah i haven't i haven't even like uncovered the uh, map going south so so i think that that's what i was gonna do um the other day but i stopped uh but it's amazing it's and i love that it's a game that i could just sit down and play for like an hour And maybe I just level up or and, and grind something and, and um, farm something and, and then level up. Or maybe I just go to, um, you know, to a different, um, like an unexplored part of the map. And it's, it's amazing. It's, it's incredible. As, as a fan, as a person that has played um, every game, not finished every game, but most of them, um, it's, it's amazing. It's one of those... You know, it, it certainly does feel special type of games. So I, I love it. I love Liet it. said, I'm doing the same. It's maybe the same route that you're doing. Yeah, it's just that it, it almost like um, the game is, is super cool because it tells you, hey, go over here. But then in very from software fashion, it also I mean, I'm sure there's amazing players that can just beat the game at like I, there's a there's a guy that I've I, I haven't watched any uh, playthrough. But there's a guy that I used to watch for um, for uh, Souls games. Mm -hmm. He's he's a super famous streamer, and he's I you know every time I open my YouTube, he's there and he's playing Soul Level One. So he's he never um, levels up. Never. He just starts with the character, mm -hmm. and he can beat the game like that, which is impossible. Yeah. Like for me, I'm not like I am not that sort of player. I is mean, he? These, That person, oh, uh, he plays that, that kind game. of person that uh, 
get to try the game before it gets not, released? Not this game. Uh, not, not this game. There was an open thing with this game. Uh-huh. But um, no, no, no. He wouldn't have gotten it first. Okay. But... But uh, or maybe he, yeah no probably he, maybe they he give did. it because if he's super famous they oh no but it doesn't matter they he's get played to play so it. many of these games no 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 I'm sure he's amazing and that's why they would make him play it first yeah but he's just good he's just like objectively good at those games like very very good so um because he he usually um streams like all of these games all of the uh, from software games so. Yeah, he's just good at them. I am just a normal person. So I have to be over-leveled to be good. And right now I'm quite over-leveled, I feel. Like I am, I think I have like, you know, I'm probably level 20 in health, 20 in strength, or 22 in health, 20 in strength, 20 Maximum in dex. Maximum being 100? N no, I don't know. Being no, what? no, no, probably not. But I don't I know. I want to try to understand if that's like. So you can level up average of like that, attributes. or that's good, or that's. I think what? for early, I'm over leveled. For early game, I'm over leveled. But I'm just trying to make it easy for me. I, 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 I mean, I want always try to. Yeah, be I want to enjoy the game. So who cares? I would love to be, <laughs> like, super prepared to beat a boss in just one kick. No, no, no. It's not like that. That's what I would love to. That's oh, yeah. Why but I said, like, yeah, I would but it's love not a, to be. I'm not even close to <laughs> to being like that overpowered, like that OP. But it's just, I don't know. It's just, I feel like, okay, you know, if the game lets me do this, then I'm not doing anything that that is um, that is bad. There's people that, that think that, no, that you should like, you should play the game the way it's intended. And it's like, oh, stop it. Like, please. But we usually don't see a lot. Like, not with this game. Because I understand that with this game, you have to see where you have to go. Like, to know that you get all the things that you need. But with other games, we don't usually... Like, for example, we've talked about this a lot. But with Cuphead, we never saw... Like what we had to do. Oh, with this one, you kind of don't have to. I don't, I don't do that. I try not to do it. I remember there was one game that um, maybe it was Dark Souls 2 mm -hmm. that I started, you know, Dark Souls 1, I played it and I finished it without, like I played it blind and I finished it and it was super, super amazing. But then I realized by watching videos, I was like, I never did that or I never saw this, you know, mm -hmm. monster or this boss. Yeah. Like. And I felt like I was missing on a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. So for Dark Souls 2, I started, I would play like a level and then, you know, see I would die a couple of times and then I would be like, okay, but, you know, m let me check and see if I'm missing something. Because you start thinking like, oh, I'm probably going to miss this like weapon that's really good or mm -hmm. I, I want to see this NPC or, you know, you start doing all those things. And it made it, I, I guess it was a cool experience, but... When I finished that game, I was like, I don't know if I want to play like this. Like, Yeah, because I was going to say that, like, that's fine. But I f feel that it's more exciting when you're playing it. Like, you're getting to discover everything. Because yeah. if you see what's going to happen, you know how the boss looks. You know. Yeah, you're not. Yeah. But you know, you know what I sometimes do? I'll what? watch, for example, if I beat a boss... I'll I'll watch a video afterwards. Yeah, of but people once you've done it, because you know why? I am so horrified when I'm fighting these bosses that I don't look at them. Like I can't enjoy them. Yeah, and sometimes so you they have like, like amazing. Admire. Yeah, and sometimes they have like amazing designs, and you just want to like pause the game and look at them, but you can't pause uh, um, a a FromSoft game. So it's um yeah. So it's right now I'm playing it like a different experience. I even did something that I knew that I wasn't supposed to do. And mm -hmm. I told you, um, Danny, the other day, I, I killed an NPC that oh, I knew yeah. because that, he's like in every game. He's, at the end he's or been something in every, like that. Well, that would give you something. At yeah, the end. he usually does. But in this game, I thought, oh, my God, is it going to be different? Because I am playing. I am fighting him. Yeah, and you, you told me that you were seeing like the level. He has a boss bar. Yeah. He had like a boss bar. And I was like... Am I supposed to kill this dude? I mean, when I'm playing and I see a boss bar, oh, I you just go for it. Go, yeah. yeah, hell yeah. 
So, yeah, so even though I knew that this is a dude that's in every single iteration of the game and he's always like a scumbag, um, I knew it. I knew it. I was like, I'm not supposed to kill this dude. So wh why is he fighting me? And I didn't pay attention to um, – because he – at some point he surrenders. I don't – this is not spoiler, but he surrenders, mm -hmm. but his boss bar doesn't go away. Yeah. So I was like, this dude is going to trick me. Yeah. Like, this is not – That's what I would thought. Yeah. Like so – so I, gonna fall so I was that. like, oh, F this. I'm going to kill him. Yeah. And um, then I you mean, realized yeah, well, you didn't have to. I didn't have to. It's not a, it's not a thing that's like you're not supposed to. Because yeah, but in FromSoft games, it's like do whatever you want. You want to kill every NPC? Go ahead. Yeah. Like that's if that's your thing, go ahead. But um, but uh, I, I kind of knew I didn't have to. And, I, and when I did it, I was like, oh, fuck. And then I and, and then I had to look up. I had to look up like what did I miss? What am I gonna miss? Because you yeah. can't go back. Yeah, but you you are used to seeing just a tiny bit of that things. It's not like as you said, it's not like you go and search in the internet. No, oh, I'm no. gonna go to this boss. What do I have to do? No, well, Th that's the way that yeah. a lot of Even people they, play, and an, yeah. and a lot of young people play like that now. Oh, yeah. I think that that's yeah. Samu. Like Samu was like, oh, a Cuphead's boss is going to do these and these and then you have to do these and these. And I think that, again, in the um, Cuphead example, yeah, I remember like the first run of every level for us were like, what are we doing? Oh, like, yeah, we were screaming. Yeah, we were screaming. But that's amazing, too. Yeah. Like that's super interesting. It makes it super fun. At least for me. That's how I like to play games. Oh, no, no, for sure. I'm I'm having an amazing time now because... I mean, it's because these are games that I really like to play, but also because I, I told myself, just enjoy it. Like, just play it at your own pace. This is like a game that really, really is almost begging you to play it at your own pace. Like, yeah. the, the, it's not forcing you to go quickly or slowly or now it's like whatever you want to do. Whatever, if you want to take more time, take more time. That's cool. You want to over level, over level. That's you want to go cool. straight to the castle? Go straight to the castle. Yeah, you're, like, you're gonna get your ass kicked, but it doesn't like it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, it's super open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to just walk around and do you know for Nothing. like an hour and maybe Could feel you, like, like you farm? didn't do it. You, I usually farm. I have like my spots where I can. Is farm Is that the for, way um, you get uh, stronger? Level. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Oh, Bernadette was saying, Danny, maybe I'm not supposed to talk about yesterday, but I'm still thinking about your painting. It was so profound on many levels. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, Bernadette. we can. Uh, oh, we can. No, and, and it's not like you're not supposed to talk these, about. I mean, these you could spaces talk about are for us to talk. Yeah. And I'm super happy that you uh, that you feel that way about the painting. It makes me super, super happy. Uh, Jasmine R. said, Hi, Dani and Nicolas. Great live streams. Thank Question you. for you both. Yes. Do you know any great painter who work expressively in acrylics, particularly with portraiture and figure painting? Oh. Uh, I mean, specifically for those subject matters, I don't know. I don't really know. An expressive painter? No, I think they said ex expressively, like, like. What's expressive? No, I like think they only? meant like. I think they 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 meant like um, that specifically they work with those subject oh. matters. Um, yeah, I can't think of anyone that that works solely in acrylic in those subject matters. I mean, we've talked about it before, and like in, in Andrew Ham. Yeah, but I think she's looking for somebody uh, more traditional, I feel. I have a feeling that that's what they're... I'm sorry, what was their name? I'm Jasmine R. So I think um, Jasmine or... Jas Jasmine or... Um, I think that that's what Jasmine is looking for. Maybe they can let us know a little bit more about the question. Like yeah. specifically what they're looking and we could try and Yeah, but off the top artists. of my head, like I'll tell you, I, I don't. Maybe, you know, ma that's why we have a community. So maybe maybe some people can uh, give us suggestions. Yeah, Douglas, Gregory, Douglas. A little bit. Sorry. You okay? Yeah. 
Douglas Gregory was saying. I'm like in a in a submarine here. So yeah. when I move. No, and the camera is super low today. Yeah. So like if you move fast, you could open your head. Crack open. My yeah, head crack head. open. Uh, I was saying that Douglas Gregory said Sebastian Kru Kruger is all acrylic. Oh, yeah. Very good. Yes, yes. Yeah, and Gabriel Pozo also said, I think Sebastian Kruger works in acrylics. Yeah, he's doing like a, a Neo painting. He's doing a Keanu painting. Actually, I think it's a John Wick. John Wickish painting. Hmm. Jade Pineros was saying top 100 paintings gross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just that I'm I'm super for some reason today I I think I'm I'm guessing it's cuz of the um the surface just feels so foreign. I I'm feeling like I have to concentrate so much more on on brush strokes. Because it's almost like impossible for me to paint over the brushstrokes, because mm -hmm. it's all the all the painting is just there, like nothing is absorbing. So, so it's uh, maybe I'm. It's not that I'm out of it. It's just that I'm. I I feel like I have to concentrate a little bit more than I usually do. But there's an actual page that I know. I don't know where they take the information from. Yeah. But it says top 100 masterpieces, oh, world's nice. most famous paintings. Well, because people love to do lists. But, yeah. you know, but that's probably garbage. It says our group of art uh, have identified a collection of 100 most famous paintings in the world that have had the maximum artistic impact and recognition. Okay, yeah. This list... Yeah. No. Uh, comprises no. works by a great many famed artists okay. that are now housed in some of the world's finest museums. What's the si what's the website? Where are you reading this? Brushwiz.com. Brush squeeze? <laughs> Brush wheeze, w Brush I Z. Oh, yeah. Fine art for everyone, it says. Okay. Well, you know, I'm. let's not be... No, 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 because I think... Everyone can do a... Everyone, but... Everyone can do a... Um, no, yeah, and, and if it's like an introduction for people to, to art or to painting, that's fine. That's great. That's great. We, you know, I shouldn't be uh, looking down upon those lists. No, no, no. Even though I, I feel they're ridiculous. No. I'll, I feel they're stupid. Come on. How do you measure that? Like, the m is the Mona Lisa like the first, like the most yeah. famous painting? See, so, oh, God. Number two... Think about uh, how many things you've seen, like the reproduction of that paintings in is notebooks. It a, is it just paintings? Uh, yeah, paintings. Just paintings. Like oh, notebooks it's like, and... Um, Van Gogh or a Klimt? Van Gogh, yeah. Yeah. The Starry Night. That's yeah. why I told you, like, think about coasters and... Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm, I'm saying... T-shirts. That's why I'm saying, yeah, that's all, of, like, this is trash. And number three... Monk. Monk? Monk. The scream? Yeah. Oh, God. That's a super famous one. I mean. As every... Uh, repro Reproduction-wise, like printing-wise, I think it's been printed a lot of times. Probably, yeah. Mm, yeah. So... There we go. There we go. Best three <laughs> paintings ever. I love number th Sorry 66... Night is uh the painting that i think it's super cool the one of a friend in need what the one of the dogs that are playing poker ah the poker dogs yeah okay yeah a friend in need that's name is that the title of that painting yeah okay so that one thing i learned from today that's uh that's good to me it was like the poker dogs <laughs> poker dogs yeah Mm, yeah. Mm. 
Kakairo said, Coco está quedando divine. Sí, y la un pera. emoji de una pera. Mm. Gracias. Kakairo. Kakairo. Kakairo Contreras. Kakairo? Pues yo, yo son los yo que déjame. yo hago. Sí, ahora me, me van a regañar por yo hacer el mío. Kakairo. Mi versión. Sí, muchos apodos usamos los colombianos, ¿no? Tú. También yo. Como Más. colombiana, sí, muchos apodos. Tú también pones apodos a todo. Mm. Tyson Alberto Contreras. Así es como le dice al perro de sí, la pero, casa. De... Pero no es a todo. Tú usas apodos también. Sí. Igual te... todo viene siempre desde el cariño. Uh -huh. Eh. Uh, Guy Bailey said, talking of top paintings by top artists, yeah. what's your view yeah. of the charismatic forger Wolfgang Beltracci? Yeah, I love forgers. I mean, um, I think they're fascinating. Mm -hmm. I think the, the ability to understand how somebody else worked Mm -hmm. and to to be capable of, of emulating that to a degree where you can fool like the um, the quote unquote most educated people or, or experts in art I think it's amazing I really really do um, now the problem is when you're just you know when it becomes fraud which it does become fraud so uh, that's where it's Um, it's an issue but as as a just exercise I think it's fascinating mm, Margo dice Alfonso Albacete también trabaja con acrílicos no conozco no yo tampoco déjame acá voy Estoy, no me ha ensuciado tanto hace o sea, hace mucho tiempo no me ensuciaba tanto bajar. las manos. Tengo que bajar. Ah, gracias. Ya vengo. No me demoro. I've noticed that it's a... Um, I mean, it's a pear, but... Uh, I don't know. It's become like a... Like a pretext for... Putting, like color against color down but not really I, I stopped thinking about pear a, like a while ago so I don't know how that reads I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but um, it just became like a sort of different exercise for me which is kind of interesting because I thought okay I'm going to do a pear let's let's I mean I think you guys if you were here from the beginning you heard me say no, I want to do like a very traditional pair. Let's just do a pair. And um, and kind of like that's about it. Like that's what we're going to do. And uh, and now I I think that's kind of gone. And I and all I'm seeing is just a an opportunity to um, to do a painting. Not just like not a pair, but a painting. Um, so So yeah, it's kind of weird. I I thought I was I thought I would have had it under control <laughs> and I was just going to do a pair, but uh didn't happen. Yeah, it's so weird that paint can can be, I don't know, this is ridiculous me saying it, but it's so weird for me to be surprised by how fresh the painting feels. Like in this, on top of the, sur like the, um, the substrate, it's, it's, it's absurd. It shouldn't feel like that. It shouldn't surprise me at all. Like I'm a painter, I paint. I know, I know that that's, you know, that's what happens with oil paint, but it's, um, 
it just goes to show how you you can get so so used to working in in one way and it's a way that i'm super connected with but it certainly has um kind of distorted how i understand paint it's pretty incredible i'm back you're back i'm back um thank you no you're welcome danielita don't you worry don't you worry baby don't you worry don't you worry child um let's see mm. a ver donde me quedé mi prima dice nuestra familia tiene muchos apodos ajá sí muchísimos mi hermana además no, es que tu hermana y tú son insoportables. Pero pues yo lo heré de mi hermana. Sí, sí. O sea, mi hermana era la reina de los apodos de todo. Sí, no le puede decir a las cosas... No, no puede dejar una palabra quieta. No, incluso ella lo usa mucho para palabras del día a día. Por eso, cualquier cosa. O sea, le pone obje eh, objetos, apodos. <ríe> mi hermana es chistosa en eso. Eh, just... Min R, that was asking about the acrylic uh, portrait artist, yeah. said basically what I was trying to understand is if you can achieve painting styles like yours or similar to yours in acrylics. In short, I'm struggling with painting in acrylics. Thanks for the answer, by the way. Oh, you should definitely look at uh, Sebastian Kruger then because he is an incredibly versatile painter and you'll see things that are hyper realist and you'll see things that are um, very, very expressive. So if you want to see range from possibilities, you know, working with acrylics, please like really spend some time looking at his work. Um, get some of his books if you, and you, if you end up liking uh, what he does. Bec the books are super, super cool. I used to have them, so um, I, can, I can assure you that they're excellent, excellent books. Matthew de Prospero mm -hmm. said, you may have many teachers in your life, but a mentor would be a special one that you feel influenced you the most. Okay. Yeah. I just, I just feel, um, not strange. It's just like, uh, uh, like for me, teacher is enough. Like when I refer yeah. to my teachers, like I'm already acknowledging how relevant they are for me. Like teacher... In my brain, yeah. like I said, this is not that I have issue with the uh, term or anything. Yeah, like the word teacher is full of respect. Yeah, in for me, it's like that. That's there's nothing higher that I could ever, or or there's no higher way I could refer to my teachers. Um, you know, so I'm I'm totally fine calling them, you know, my teachers. Yeah, but I do remember that there was a lot of people uh, back in the university mm -hmm. that. I didn't like to be called uh, teachers. Yeah. But like maestro. Oh, yeah. But that that's was a, like a yeah. distinction. It was like, I'm not a teacher. I'm a maestro. And I was like, I mean, it's not a bad thing to... Ooh, wait, wait, because my camera went up. <laughs> it's not a bad thing to be a teacher. I mean, it's not like a... It's not a... As you, you were saying, it's not like... Yeah, it's not like teacher is the lower tier... Yeah. But uh, maestro or mentor is the, the biggest one. Well, well. No, no, no. I'm not talking about that. Right, I'm talking right, about right. the teachers in my art school. That's what I, why I was saying. Like, I was always curious about knowing why they wanted to do the distinction. They. Because they wanted to be called. Yeah, that's always um, weird here. Maestro, yeah. Not teacher. Yeah, that's very weird here. Very, very weird. Yeah. I've even heard some people saying, like, Don't call me teacher because I'm like you're not back at school. And I was like, what? But like I'm not saying that in never in a like degrading way. So yeah, yeah. I was just thinking about that. Um, Jack Moore was saying, Nicolas, what do you think about Pratt Institute in New York City? Is it the right college to study fine arts? Um, my friend Kenichi uh, is a teacher at Pratt, so I'm going to say yes, 100% yes. 
and I think Mupan was teaching there, and then he went to SVA maybe. Um, but I'm gonna say yes, you know. And sole reason for saying it is because of Kenichi. So <laughs> I'm very biased, but I'm gonna say yes. Mm. Jasmine R said, "Thank you, Nicolas. I knew I could. I could count on you. We'll surely check him out." Oh, Danny, but you know, oh. proper uh, proper thanks to to uh, people that reminded us. Yeah, of, yeah, yeah. Of uh, Kruger, because because uh, he he kind of left my brain for uh, for a little bit. So yeah. Yeah, and Jasmine also said, "Danny, we want to see more of your work." Thank you, Jasmine. I don't know if you've seen yesterday's video because uh, every Monday we're having a visual correspondence between uh, Nicolas and I. And it's very cool. And I get to uh, not only show things I'm doing, but also share about the process behind it. And also Nicolas talks about the process behind what he's doing. So it's super cool. You should check it out. And also... Um, in the screen, maybe if you're, if there's people that are new here, uh, this is my Instagram and there is, uh, Nicolas Instagram, like right on top of the titanium white. <laughs> so if you haven't checked our Instagrams, you could, uh, go and see our work. Eh, Marco Delgado dice, Alfonso Albacete es español, en el 2020 expuso en... Marlborg de Madrid. Malboro, Malboro. Malboro? Sí, así se escribe la galería de okay. Marlboro. Marlboro Gallery. Eh, la expo se llamó Pinturas Analógicas. <coughs> no, pues. Sal estornudas. <risa> ah, perdón. Ush. Uh, Salud. Gracias, qué pena. No, nunca has estornudado tan duro, no, qué locura. Nunca he estornudado en Our Painted Lives. No, es verdad. Eh, y dijo Dani, creo que te gustaría su trabajo. A ver, a ver, buscamos Alfonso Albacete. A ver, Coquito. Sí, señora. ¿qué? Para que mires. Ah, uy, pero es que me queda. Ah, súper como moderno. Sí, sí, es, sí. Este me gusta. De lejos. Sí. Ya lo, ahí lo abrí. Sí, no lo conocía Parece incluso como pinturas Como de las de Leipzig Como de Ay, las mucho. de la escuela de Leipzig Le, La mi sin culpa el... ¿La miste sin culpa? <risa> el micrófono ¿Es que saqué la lengua? No, guácala Y puse toda la lengua y se siente horrible pues La sí. textura del micrófono Sí <risa> Eh... Guy Bailey said, need to dial off. Many thanks for another great live stream. This is my favorite painting you've done. Oh, thanks really? Thanks for battling with the slippery surface. Oh, thank you for being here, Guy. Yeah, thank you. And and it's um, it's a pretext to try and think about edges, I feel. So it it, it is serving its purpose. And everything's connected. It's a good thing. Like thinking about edges after the painting I did yesterday. Yeah. That we also talked about uh, edges. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Mm. Jasmine R. said, I did see it yesterday, Danny, and it was lovely. For me, if you strip away the art topic, it was like a counseling session between the two of you. I think you're really lucky to have each other. I, I really you. think we are super lucky to have each other, to have find each other and to uh, manage to keep the company of each other <laughs> for a oh, long Oh, you're going. Time. You're going <laughs> yeah. somewhere with this. Go, go. No, I was going to say like, but it sounds super cheesy, but like not only finding each other, but yeah. like deciding to be with each other every day. So Yes. But it was going to sound a little bit cheesy, so I tried to, I tried to uh, de-cheese it, and oh. I couldn't. So I just get uh, tangled in my words, as per usual. <laughs> but 
that's me <laughs> just keep going yeah. you're, you're going no but you know it's super funny because my i mean i know that my personality is the same in spanish and in english but i really like that because i'm a little bit lost in english yeah so it, i have kind of a funny er personality in english oh no <laughs> 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 I hadn't noticed. No, like I no, struggle. I struggle a bit, so no, it's it's funny because no, I you're try perfect. to go around with words, and I don't think that's something that happens to me you're in Spanish a lot. Sure. Like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> like when I try to talk in Spanish, I just talk. Mm. No, you know I do. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But of course yeah. you do. In English, it's harder. <laughs> so yeah. Um. Where were we? I don't know. You you <laughs> took us for a ride, so yeah, um, I derail everything. Um. <laughs> oh, thank you, Bernadette. Said Danny, your English is fantastic. Thank you so much. It's fine. <laughs> fantastic. Fantastic. Hmm. I didn't realize the pairs we had had that um the like little part stem. of the stem yeah yeah the just leaf. this one just th just just this one that's so cool it, yeah. it looks super cool super super cool <laughs> <laughs> no it's going on you're killing it Danny. yeah you're killing it I'm killing myself mm, so Oh, gracias, Olguita. Uh, your mom said. Who is Olguita? Olguita is your mom. Oh, right. <laughs> said you speak very good English. Oh. Thank you, Olguita. And if my mother says it. Mm, thank you. No, thank <laughs> you so much. No, I like I'm as I said before. I'm happy with my English. Yeah. The thing is that I have to go and search Away. for words sometimes. Yeah. So, yeah. It's funny sometimes because I ha like I have the idea of what I want to say, but yeah. maybe I'm missing a word, so I derail the conversation until I can get that word in my head again. Yeah. To wrap up the conversation, so. By then we've lost everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the the hard part is that sometimes I don't get to the word I was looking yeah. for. Yeah. But what you're describing is every single time I try to say something too. So. Yeah. It's just, that's, that's the way it is. Yeah. Mm. Let's see. It's so interesting trying to pick sharpness within um a painting like where 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 it's like where a sharp edge would be suited like best mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> hannah said reminded me of bilingual <laughs> yeah yeah that's our life <laughs> yeah more my life no, no i think you maybe that was you when you arrived to new york but the thing is that you've you've lived in the united states so you like you had a period of time like a considerable period of time that you were speaking in english all the time yeah um so i'm gonna get better i mean i'm talking in I english don't, now i don't think you have to get better i think you're perfect. no 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 get better with getting the words in my head like get used to uh finding the words in my head it's not it's not like i have to get better in my english yeah so. you're perfect eh. it was mm, my kyle said danny i do mikhail 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 yeah 
Okay, Mikhail said, Danny, I do that with words, and English is my first language, or I just completely forget what I'm talking about. Yeah, and that's super funny because sometimes that happens, and everyone's like so into what you're saying. And you don't like know you're where trying you're going. to, yeah. You're trying to do like to do a point, give a point. How do you say that? Make a point. Make a point. <laughs> For example, you're trying to make a point, and everyone's paying attention, and you just lost the point. Yeah. So you have to like super quickly find your way around to try and say something, but it always ends like kind of lame. Like that's um, funny. Ingrid last night. <laughs> yeah, Nicolas. No, no, I think. I think she did well, but there were times that she was like, she was taking us for a ride. <laughs> Karim Gallery said, man, I love the way you paint. How do you deal with colors like that? Um, I'm not doing like super strange things with color right now. If I have to be very, very honest, it's uh, it's not um, it's not like a super strange painting in that sense. You know, yesterday I just uh, down downloaded um, Duolingo again. Oh, really? For, for Italian. Oh, cool. To see if maybe I can. Oh, order trust me, it's not like. Order a, an apple oh, when I go there. Oh, namella. Yeah, that's the only. Scusi. Uh, fruit I know. Namella, per favore, grazie mille. Now, I wouldn't knew how to say that before you said it. Oh, of course you would. That one's like... Per favore, yeah. Me, yeah, mela. But I would say... <laughs> you know what's my go-to uh, phrase in uh, Italian? Um, la ragazza la, mangia la mela. Yeah, if you say... They if would you be do like, that, what's you, wrong with they, her? They <laughs> throw the dog. <laughs> that's yeah. like... That would be super funny. Like going to a store. Scu scu Scusi. Scusi. La ragazza mangia la yeah. mela. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be in that store with you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. I don't know if people are still here. Oh, maybe. no. <laughs> This is, uh, it's just you and me today. Uh, <laughs> Danny. I'm sorry. No, no, it's no. a good you painting, to, but uh, uh, lose everyone today. yeah, I'm just ha uh, giving everyone a super interesting conversation. So, mm. yeah, but I have to practice. No, I have to learn a little bit of Italian. I think that would be cool. You'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Is it better to speak in Spanish or English? I try to, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I always try to say it in, in Italian and they'll like answer in English. They'll be like, oh dude, you're straining yourself. Like, but you're good with them. No, I can understand. I understand. Like yesterday you were doing a homework with Fer and I got like two words, but you were like super into the conversation. No, cause if, if I read it, I'll understand it. If she speaks, if Fed speaks like super slow, um, like I'll understand it. Or if she uses like simple words, I'll understand it for sure. But I, I, I'm not at a point where I know how to answer yeah. back. No, but or, you, or I'll answer back like in super basic ways. So yeah. I'm sure that the way I would answer back is probably the way Luchito is answering in English <laughs> in, uh, in Liverpool. Yeah. So, Like smiling and... Yeah, smile and wave. Yeah. Mm. Jasmine R said, bravissima, italiano, perfe perfetto. 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 Because it says perfect nine. Like, uh, como se dice? Typo? Oh, okay. So. But it's uh, perfetto. Perfetto. Yeah, but I was going to say that you know, like you understand Italian. I just know... What mela means, <laughs> ragazza, ragazzi, 
Like that's all. I don't understand the Italian. So. Mm. Bernadette Neff said, and point to the item on the menu. Yeah, yeah that would be me. Like pointing and smiling. Yeah. The thing it's is that I, I feel that I have a good attitude. Oh, that's the best. Yeah. So I would just smile and be like this. You, Esto. You have a, you have a very... Um, there's um there's a kindness to you to your no, to the way so you nice. you look to the way you express yourself you carry yourself that i think it's uh that that would be the only thing you ever need ah oh, that's so nice let's hope that's enough for uh being able to Order. Buy some to snacks. Order, an <laughs> yeah. order anything. Yeah. <laughs> other than an Not apple. Not even a mela. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you go, you you can go to um, Carrefour, Carrefour, to uh, buy a mela. Mela. Um, you don't per have to favore. ask for it. <laughs> well, there's like um, there's like a a really where where the um, where the workshop used to be. Mm -hmm. There's like a. a market like street market mm -hmm. oh that's super super cool and they do sell like fruit and like juices and and, and bunch how of other did stuff people uh ask for things there like oh d rome is inundated by by um by tourists so mm -hmm. you don't even have to worry like they know that their city is absolutely full of tourists and they're okay with that i mean they they make a living off of that so They are fine. Yeah, because I think I would be like, uh, una mela. Eh, zucco de mel. Zucco? Sí. Zucco. From mela? How do you say no, de mela? Zu zu di mela. Zucco di mela. Well, you don't have to dance. Zucco, zucco di mela. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh so, you need my phone. Yeah. But you have to send me, because you send it to your... Um, Oh, but I'm not going to be able to. No, no, no. Uh, so, uh, no, yeah. Like the easy way is for me to send it from here. <laughs> Let's see. Zucco di mella. Zucco di... No, I said zucco di mella. Yeah. And then I would laugh. No, no. Because I'm nervous. I, you know I would laugh. I mean. Yeah, and they would be like... Uh, I'm sorry, this is a pharmacy. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing here? This is a train station. <laughs> yeah. uh. mm. I don't know why I don't get it here. There you go. Thank you. There you go. No, how? But you know how to say, like if I say grazie, grazie. Grazie mille, per favore. Sí. No, well. Grazie mille, per favore. No, you wouldn't say that. Why? Because you're thanking somebody and then saying please. No, I'm It's just like, saying. Thank you, please. <laughs> thank you, please. <laughs> um, so if I say thank you, how, what would you say? So if I go like grazie. Uh, that one's easy. I, I would smile. I know you've <laughs> And wink. I know you. <laughs> I know you've heard it. It's. Uh, it sounds like a. Non burger. problema. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> no. No. I. Like I've tried um, Duolingo for like a week, so like you're asking too much for me. I mean. But I think you've heard it. It's one of those things that you go like, oh, okay. Scusi. No, scusi is like <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna excuse me, yeah. begin to ask something or what? How would I answer to? De nada. ¿Cómo dirías de nada? Mm. O por nada. <laughs> I have no idea. Suena oh, my uh, my cousin told me prego. Yeah, prego. Yeah, prego. Yeah, I've heard about it. So every time somebody says grazie, you just go prego. Prego. No, I'm gonna forget. No, just gonna that smile. one's easy. No, that one's super easy. I would say ragazzi. No, that's <laughs> that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, cuoco. Cuoco? <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, Cody Winicky said, haha, just nod and give a thumbs up. Yeah. yeah, that would be me. Um, uh, Karim Gallery was asking, how do you pronounce your second name? Uh, uh, no, no, but that for have a. Oh, second name is last so, name? Like yeah, so that's not my second name. That's um, so I'm Nicolas Uribe. Uribe is my last name, but the thing is here in uh, in uh, Colombia and in most places in in Latin America, uh, we have two last names, and and this, our our second last name would be my mother's maiden name. So our like official like legal name for like legal matters it has like, two last names it, yeah. you're always going to see two last names so it's it's going to be your um, your last name and your mother's maiden's name um I, of course you can change those but uh it's usually like that and so my last name is is uribe so it would be nicolas uribe and my mother's last name is beninhof so Her father was German, so that's where that's where the uh, Beninhof comes from. Mm. Bernadette Neff said, "If you go to Rome, Li Rioni, bed and breakfast vi with a view of Colosseum from the upstairs terrace. Super nice family." Oh, that oh. sounds. I don't think. I'm trying to think of where that would be, but I don't think I've 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 gone there. I've been there. Karim Gallery said I read like your reb, like J O R E B. Your oh, reb. So it would your be reb. Uribe. So it would Uri be Uri that would be U, hard. U as in boo, you know, B O O, so double O. So let's let's help um, everyone out. Ri, 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 no, no, ri, not ri, uribe, <laughs> uri, ta, 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 yeah, no, 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 uh, uribe, uh, like trick, try to, try to, um, no, like the R I from trick or rip, rhythm or rip or rhythm, yeah, uri, so R I, just don't try to roll the R, just go, you know, with with the regular way you can say R I, and um, be, uri, uri. Uri, be. And be and like be in bet. In, yeah, be as in bet. Yeah. So, um, uribe. If you, you go uribe, there. you're half, you're there. You're there. You just have to roll your R and that's, that's, that's just it. Mm, Cody Winicky said, does the last name come from the father's side? Like father's name and mother's ma maiden name? Yeah, yes. Yes. Exactly. We're very, I mean, like almost... Um, the rest of the world, very patriarchal. My my daughter uh, asked me, which I thought was amazing because that's something that I never asked my father. It's like, why do we have to have your last name? And I thought that was super cool. I was like, you don't have to. Like, you can change your last name when you're older, and that's super, super cool. You're totally right. Mm. But there's other places where you get the mother's names first. It's not common, though. Sadly, I mean, this is me saying that um, it shouldn't be something that is, like, automatic like it is here. Because I'm seeing, like, matronymic uh, countries. Yeah. Or, like, uh, in Asia... They have India, Indonesia, Philippines, Taiwan, and Vietnam. In Europe, England, Finland, France, Iceland, Ireland, I mean, Netherlands. Yeah, because it says it's ma matronymic and not patronymic. No, but I, I'm pretty sure that it's, it's because you have the possibility of using it. But, it, but automatically, at the default, that would be what's interesting to see. I think the default is still, in, you know, in the vast majority of countries in the world, it's just from your father. Again, sadly, it should be a choice at least. Mm. Karim Gallery 
uh, sent some laughing emojis and mm -hmm. said, I was discussing with my friends today about this topic. So about y the pronunciation of your last name. <laughs> oh. Um, I like I like those top like how do you how the hell do you say his name? Uribe, yeah. Like, what the hell? Uribe. Uh, Jasmine R said, "This is hard. I I'm gonna butcher every word, but go." Skusami, no? Ah, uh, go. Oh, I thought I thought it was like a a, a last name, but it's Skusami Italian. Typo. Perfetto parlate tutti so. italiano in famiglia. Oh. Very nice. Um, you got that, right? Yeah, I got it. But that's the thing. I get what I'm reading or listening to sometimes. Yeah. But I don't know the words. Like, I know what they mean if I see them because yeah. I can relate to the words. Yeah. But I don't have the words in my, like, the like a vocabulary, vocabulary yeah, in yeah. my head. No, it, it I don't happens. know if that makes sense. No, but of course. It happens to me, like, constantly. Cody Winicky said, I took American Sign Language as oh, my second cool. language in school. That's that super awesome. cool. I super, super knew. cool. I wish I knew Sign Language. Yeah, I, me too. I really do. Uh, Karim Gallery said, my name is Arabic, meaning general Arabic. Ara Arabic. Yeah, that's how. Meaning generosity. Most people oh. say it wrong too. Oh, how is it? Because I'm saying Karim. K-A-R-E-E-M. Think, I think it's closer. Li read it in Spanish, as you would read it in Spanish. Karim, Karim. I don't know if it's Karim, but maybe Karem it's Karim. Karim. Yeah, but maybe it's Karim. Because I say Karim, it's not that far from. No, Karim. but yeah, but that's or Kari that's Karim. A, maybe you can let us know how. To pronounce. I'm I'm pretty. I would bet that it's closer to how we would say it in Spanish Karim. than it is to. Um, Pero Karim or Karim? I don't know. Karim. Ha I would say Karim. Karim. I would say Karim. But I don't know. I mean. Uh, they were saying yep. Okay. But, but yep you got to help what? us. <laughs> <laughs> you got to help us which Karim one. Karim or Karim? Mm, like he says it. Oh, Karim. So it's Karim. Yeah, yeah. It's closer to, to our Spanish. Yeah. Um, <sighs> mm. Hannah said he's very good friends with Harvey Elliott now and club is just so confused how they communicate <laughs> I know I saw that yeah. too they were like it, they asked uh, Klopp and he's like I don't know I don't know how they're doing <laughs> yeah. it but they're Apparently, they're talking to each other. Yeah, because there's pictures oh. of them, like, laughing and... I know, I like, know. Like, messing around, but they have no idea what the other is saying. No, That's amazing. With uh, Jota or with Bobby or with... Um, no, but sometimes there's pictures of them, like, oh no, I both was alone. Yeah, I was going to say <laughs> that with the uh, Portuguese group, let's call it. Yeah, like, they can get they, their they way They have been to super nice to him yeah. because he, I'm sure, like, two years you know, in Porto, like, he speaks Portuguese, but, or some Portuguese, or at least Portuñol, which they get. Um, Tiago speaks Spanish, so he's good there. And Tiago, you can tell that Tiago has been super, super friendly to him. Um, but yeah, but with Harvey Elliott, it's like, what are, <laughs> what are they doing? I think they just smile. They just no, probably laugh. No, but I laugh. love that, because they're, like, having a blast. Yeah. Like, you see pictures, and they're having, like, the time of their life. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what you're, like, how they're doing it. Oh, wait, because Karim said she's right. No, oh. like you say it, I'm sorry. Oh, so it's Kar Karim. Yeah, oh, Karim. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Hannah said, my name is Arabic too, but I deleted the first part of it to make it easier for Danny. No. Oh, don't make it easier for us. We, no. we, we love to learn. How is it? And you know that I'm going to learn. And in the next stream, I'm just going to forget. But it's not like it's not because I'm not paying attention to how it is. It's but because I she just, doesn't care. No, <laughs> don't say that. That's not a joke. It's just because I always forget about <laughs> that. <laughs> That's that even things. worse. No, so it's not because I don't care. No, it's like, because I just forget. 
No. <laughs> I, when you said um, Mikhail, uh -huh. Mikhail, I always see the username and I know that they they have teached us how to pronounce it. But it's like, I know there's one pronunciation and the other one. Like one that I had, one that they fixed, but I don't know which one was the yeah. correct one. So I'm just terrible <laughs> with names. Uh, Hannah said, uh, Shai Hannah. She Hannah? How, how do you pronounce it? S-H-Y-H-A-N-A. Oh, Shiana? Shiana, maybe, maybe yeah. Shiana? Shihana? No. Shihana. Maybe you can let us know. I think it's super cool. Uh, that's totally fine. Would always go for the most known name to make easier for everyone. No, but I want to learn. How do you say it? Yes, correct. But to which one? <laughs> so, she, okay. Shiana or Shihana? Or Shayana. No, don't give like three is difficult. So, A, Shiana. Oh, God. B, Shihana. C, Shayana. Or Please. D, Chajana. Or D, <laughs> none of the above. Uh, I, I think my B. What, what would B? <laughs> <laughs> you did this. You said it. Oh my God! Wait, See, wait, I, it was. Uh, thank you. That was Danny, <laughs> like vintage Danny, Danny in <laughs> 20 seconds. Um, <laughs> how was it, Nicolas? I don't know. This is all you. This is your making. <sighs> wait, cause I said a. Eh? She, she, Hannah, she Anna, she Anna. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna no. So just say yes or no. Oh my god. Is it Shiana? No, Shiana. Shiana. Is it Shiana? Shiana. I'm gonna keep pronouncing it. Shiana. Ten minutes you're gonna forget. Shiana. <laughs> Shiana? Are you still there? <laughs> They were saying, perfect, stop, really. Oh, God, Danny. Yes, Shiana. Yeah, so I got it. There Shiana. Go. I mean, you got it because you're like blindly just saying all three names. No, 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 because I tried to remember the order. So, yes, Shiana. Um, Karim said, it's hard for me to pronounce too. And Bernadette Neff said, from art to comedy show. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Danny breaking apart here. <laughs> Shiana said, now we can move on, move on with our lives. Thank you. And some uh, laughing emojis. Yeah, I'm sorry. But that was like the perfect example of how I am. Like sometimes I ask Nicolas, like, how do you say that? And you're like, you say it blah. And then I'm going to say it and I'm like, how do you say it? Yeah. And you're like, It's blah. And then again, and again, and again. So, yeah. <laughs> mm. I was trying to remember because my sister... Shiana. No. <laughs> my sister told me that when she was living in um, Michigan... Yeah. She, I, I think she went to a Starbucks. Yeah. Is it, was it my sister or a friend of us of oh my, my sister? God. I don't remember. I remember we were having a chat with my sister and some friends a of stranger, my sister. A stranger in the no, bus. No, no, no. That were Colombian too. Okay. And they were telling the struggles they had when they went to uh, Starbucks. To Starbucks? Because of their oh, names. Oh, the name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I remember that it was like a super funny one because it, it had nothing, nothing to do yeah. with the name. But I just don't remember the complete story, so... Oh, great. <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah. that was a great story. <laughs> uh, Karim said, do you paint digitally? 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 Um, not, not really. I mean, I've done paintings. I always uh, uh, tell people that I did. I did do like uh, backgrounds for an animation. 
uh, for an animation short, and all of those were done in Photoshop, and they were very loose, like they were very painterly. So it was it was super cool. It was a ton of fun. But um, truth is, no, no. I mean, I'll do it for fun, but I I'm not really good at it. So um, no, my thing is just painting, painting traditional painting. I want to know, is people here playing uh, Wordle? Still playing Wordle? I think there's a lot of people. It's not. The yeah, but I want to know if people here. Oh, so okay. I want to know. Well, at this moment? No, no not like playing and uh, watching the stream, but like to, d to this date, do they still play it constantly, like daily? And what's your uh, go-to first word? Oh, okay. Because we have one. You have one. I have I one. I have one. You I have change it. like five. I change it. Yeah. But I I have a really good one. Um, That's very arbitrary, I feel. <laughs> but sure. So Belt said yes. And what's your word, Belt? They won't say. It's like, I don't know. I'm not going to tell you. I think there's a lot of people that use the adieu. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen that. Because it's like a super easy way to take out the majority of uh, vowels. So. Yeah. I don't like I. In, I think at the beginning I thought, OK, this is a game and you can sort of best the game. You can try to do you know, do a ton of stuff to try and, and be clever about what you put, you know, what you're doing. Um, but I think the way we play is just fun. Yeah. Because we, we always use the letters that, that the, um, like that, that the we game know gives that us. are correct. Yeah. We always like force ourselves to use the letters. Yeah. So. Like we never use a different word to try to get, Like to know if there's some letters that we need for no. the actual word. Yeah. No, we just go with the word and variations of. of yeah. So so I word. think we both just play because it's fun. Yeah. You know, just because it's fun, but not trying to like beat it. Uh, Bell said, I've been using different first words, but now I'm trying chest. Chest. Oh, that's good. Mine is means. Means. Like yeah. M-E-A-N-S. I yeah, don't know the one why. It's the first one that I came up with and it's the one that I've always used. I've got to say that I was super lucky because I changed the words and I have one that I guessed. Yeah. I felt like I won the lottery. Well, let's hope, you know. <laughs> yeah, but... but that, Let's hope that one doesn't count. And like it started like every square green and I was like, no, it can't be. And it yeah. was... Best so. day of your life. No. Oh. Third best day. Yeah. Would you say in the top 10 grossing days of <laughs> your life? Um, yeah. My go-tos are paint, naive. Naive, I think, is a very good one. Yeah. And dreams. Dream. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, Uko Nosor dice, Nico, creo que... Creo, por lo menos yo, no te he visto nunca pintar caballos o animales en general. Puede ser, saludos. Pero animales Ten... sí. Ah, Tai, son varias veces. Sí, al, um, perros he pintado. Uh -huh. Incluso en el, en el Instagram tengo un perro de, de un amigo. Uh -huh. eh, Cosmo, el perro de Esteban. Uh -huh. Que me pidió que sí se lo podía pintar y pues uh -huh. le dije con mucho gusto uh -huh. eh, pinté a Tyson a Tyson Albert Contreras uh -huh. muchas pinté veces desde chiquito no lo he vuelto a pintar pero cuando esté Chile no sé vamos a pintar a Chile ah no Chile? empieces <risa> cuando eh, esté Chile vamos a pintar a Chile eh, trataré de pintar al perro que vayamos a tener algún día sí eh, y caballos, eh, va a sonar curioso, pero sí, sí pinté caballos cuando joven. Porque eh, incluso, incluso mi cuñado tiene un cuadro de caballos eh, y me, me, 
me pedían pintar caballos con toros y bueno, le, creo que era como a, amigos de, de, de mi papá, porque mi papá era como, no ganadero, pero pues trabajaba con mucho ganado, entonces conocía personas que tenían vacas o caballos o... Y, pero esto es hace mucho, mucho tiempo. O sea, esto estamos hablando hace más de 20 años. Entonces, sí, recientemente creo que no he pintado, no he, no he vuelto a pintar un caballo. Belts said, I'm worried if I try and guess words with different letters, I'd run out of guesses. Jaja. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Karim, Karim mm -hmm. Gallery said, Uh, I have an idea in my mind that if you don't learn digital painting, you can't make a living. I didn't know that you could only paint traditional. Oh, but I'm from a, I'm from a, I come from a time <laughs> where uh, that was, I mean, digital work was at its infancy, I think. Um, I mean, a lot of people were doing it, but it wasn't like ubiquitous. Uh, Like, it, it wasn't like all illustrators were illustrating digitally or everyone working at a video game industry was working digitally. Um, no, there were plenty of jobs that were, you know, for people that could work traditionally. Uh, so I was a painter. I was an illustrator and a painter. But I was, even like at my illustration job, I was doing stuff with markers, with like um, just your regular Uh, copic markers so yeah so it you know when i was a student it it was um the people that had to do that eventually ended up doing digital work they had to learn photoshop outside university like they they were almost hired because for example my roommate he was a painter and at the time he was hired by a claim but he had to learn how to paint in photoshop while he was on the job so you know it sounds i know it sounds like ages ago but this was only like 20 years ago so mm. oh i like that shiana changed again yeah the name from hannah to shiana oh that's awesome that's amazing yes um And Shiana was asking, I was just going to ask if you ever tried Copics. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't know how to use them when I was, uh, when I was hired as, a, as an illustrator um, in this um, studio. But I had to learn. They gave me two weeks to learn. And I was like, okay, if they're giving me two weeks, I, you know, I better work my ass off to try and learn this. And uh, they liked what I did. So they hired me. Eh, Oso Bucodonosor dice Cosmo, gran nombre para perro. Sí, sí. Creo que es por Kramer. Si sí, no estoy mal, la verdad. Gabriel Pozo dice, por ahí he visto unas vacas de Nico. Eh, ah, sí, las vacas que se están dando un, un bacho. Mm, sí. Que es como una vaca preñada. Es la misma vaca preñada, pero pues la, la pinté como como eh, si la estuviera eh, partiendo por el eje, como simétrica, y entonces se están dando un, un beso. Ah, sí. Mm, la muca. La muca. Muca es vaca. Uh -huh. Y mu. Mu es como así. Sigue explicando. Uh -huh. Y bacho es, es beso. beso. Uh -huh. ¿Y vaca? Es un animal. Muy bien. Mm. Eh, <laughs> Shiana said, amazing. I assume you haven't colored with it after the job, with the copics. Ah, uh, that I haven't, I didn't, I didn't get that. That you haven't colored with it after the job? Like you haven't used them Oh, again. I haven't gone back to it after? No, no. I'd be like very you don't scared. even own right no, now. No, no. Oh, I had a, like a full set. We had so many markers, and I could take those home to work at home, which sounds pathetic because it sounds like I'm, I am, um, 
I'm Happy saying to... like, yeah, I'm going to work at home. Yeah. But um, I was young <laughs> back then. So, it, you know, those things, they never felt like crunch or, or like, you know, people taking advantage of you. I'm, and they paid me overtime. They paid me super well, um, the overtime. So um, I was like super glad. I was like, hell yeah, I could take these home. Um, it was it was good. But yeah, I haven't. Um, I mean, they're super expensive, I guess, if you want like a whole set. I don't know. Well, I'm saying super expensive because I'm, I'm just remembering that they were expensive. But I don't even know how expensive they are right now. I think they're expensive. I think they're still expensive. Yeah. yeah. And we had like like a box of like, I don't even yeah, like know the how many. It was artist so set. Many. I think yeah. it's called. Like I think we had all of them. And we had in a closet um like a reserve pile like a reserve hmm. uh so we had to but we couldn't go there we couldn't just go there and pick you know as many as we wanted we had to ask the assistant like to um we 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 were like oh i'm sorry i ran out of this one she would always give us like a look like oh my god <laughs> um but then she would go into that closet and it was like hundreds Paradise. and hundreds and yeah. hundreds of, of markers it was like super super cool um but yeah it was it was fun it was a fun job tough job but it was uh super fun shiana said yes still very expensive yeah and we had uh two types of paper that we could work on uh we had a cheaper one that was that almost felt like vellum paper that was okay to work on i i never liked that one i thought that one was crap but um and then we had one that had like um like a chemical coating on uh, on it so that markers would be kind of fresh for a little bit and then they would soak in and it would look like super super vibrant um and that paper was also really really nice but very expensive i think um Camila Ogorman dice Hola Camila. Hola Camila. No, y ayer Camila nos dejó, o sea, yo quedé mal. Yo quedé mal sabiendo que, sí. que esa es la historia de sí, la familia muy duro, de Camila. Muy duro. Sí, sí, sí. Ya mira, ¿sí la podemos ver la peli o no la encontrado? No, no, la encontrado. no, yo creo que está en, de pronto en YouTube está esa peli. Es que es muy sí, vieja. Sí, 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 pero qué locura. Sí. Estoy toda escurrida en esta silla. Camila dice y los elefantes del año pasado, no sé si lo dijeron porque me distraje recién. Ay, gracias, Camila. Sí, no, 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 no lo habíamos dicho, los elefantes también. Sí. ¿Quién, quién era el que preguntó, Gabriel? Eh, Osobuco, no sé. Osobuco, sí, también hicimos toda una semana de elefantitos. Sí. ¿Por qué? No sé. ¿Por qué no? Por... Sí, exacto. Eh... Eh... Karim was asking, when I paint with a white brush... It leaves traces in the painting as if it were a light color, no matter how heavy I try to weigh it. How can I fix that? Um, so when you paint with a brush that has a lighter color, I'm going to say lighter. Yeah. Am I, am I understanding it says, this correctly? When I paint with a wide, oh, wide, 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 yeah. wide brush. Okay. Okay. It leaves traces in the painting. Oh, brush marks. Yeah. Oh. As if it were a light color, no matter how heavy I try to weigh it, weigh it. As if it were a light color? Yeah. What? Maybe I'm not getting it. No. I'm so sorry. Because what, like, what I understood from the first part that you said was that you see brush marks. But I wouldn't know why you would associate brush marks with a lighter color. So... You know, if you could explain that to us a little bit better than... Maybe because of the light. Yeah, maybe they're just reflecting light. Reflecting light, yeah, but... Um, but it's it not shouldn't... Like yeah. In a different light condition, that would be... Right. Red so as the light. Let me see if I could do something. Cuidado your cabeza. <laughs> Cuidado your cabeza. <laughs> uh, let me see. I can't use that. So let's use... Um, <laughs> so we're going to do something academic here. Okay. So, who was who's the person that was asking? I'm sorry. Karim. So, Karim. Um, so, let's use this, which is a, you know, a, I would say a medium-sized brush for this size painting. Um, so, we're going to put uh, 
a lot of paint here. And then let me see if I have, yeah. Sure, I could use that. So we're gonna try to put a lot of paint up there, okay? Uh, let me see. Is, I, are you able to see like brush marks, Danny, yeah, in the uh, video? Yeah, I do. I could even zoom it if you want. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. We're good. So those can be kind of distracting, right? Those brush marks, and especially if light is hitting them like at an angle, at a specific angle. What you can do, which is super easy... The palette knife? No, it's it's just if you have a softer brush, a oh, far yeah. softer brush. This is just a synthetic, but if you have like a natural hair brush, but if it's signif significantly softer than than the brush that you just used, with a very light touch, you can just go over, like yeah, you can a absolutely see what you're trying to say. So you can just go over your brush strokes, and then you have like they blend together, yeah. so you can't see the right. But the thing is, for me, you know, I love brush strokes. Yeah. So I always have to find like a balance between soft, like I did right there, which is very nice. You know, I actually I can actually keep that in in that corner, which is kind of nice. Um, and uh, you know, uh, more impasto-y brush strokes, which means like charged with with you know mm -hmm. a volume of paint that you can see like the uh, sort of material quality of paint, the sculptural quality of paint. Mm -hmm. Um. But, you know, there's, there's, there's no trick to that. It's just dragging, like, uh, like, let's say if I wanted to soften this cast shadow here, you just drag it across very, very lightly. You have to have, like, a light touch there. Um, and that can just make this... Ooh, I dragged some yellow, which actually is fine. But uh, <laughs> You scared me. Yeah, I scared myself all the time. <laughs> um... <laughs> But we could we could make that softer, which is nice. I was actually kind of that was bothering me that that cast shadow was a little a little too harsh there. But yeah, that's that's what you could do, which is honestly it's like super super easy. But I I hope I I am interpreting what uh, Kareem was saying well. Yeah, maybe they can let us know if it was what they were referring to. Camila Ogorman dice, ja, 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 tengo el libro, Dani, te lo mando. Ay, yo quiero el dato del libro, sí. Me lo leo 100%. ¿De la historia? Sí, sí. muy chévere. No, pues sí. Quiero el dato y lo busco ya mismo. Qué tragedia bueno, ya mismo, tan... pero lo busco seguro. Tragedia tan absurda. Sí. Eh, yeah, Gabriel Pozo was saying, glare. Albino Pérez said, transparent fan. Eh... Camila Ogerman said, O sea, I'd love to send you the novel ear, novel ear, you're, if you're interested because the movie is too old. Yeah, just let us know, Camila, de... No, voy a hablar en español. Si quieres, Camila, mándanos el nombre de la novela y lo buscamos. Yo creo que a los dos nos interesaría un montón leerla. Super chévere, super, super chévere. Y el libro, por lo que entiendo, la novela es más reciente. Por lo que Camila dijo que la movie is too old. No, lo que pasa es que un libro, pues, no necesariamente... O sea, es como medio anacrónico. Mm. O sea, hay libros que son fiel representación de un momento, pero pues... No es que uno no se pueda leer Los Miserables así, uno... O sea, uno dice, uy, esto es Francia post-napoleónica, pero uh, fatal leerme esto. No, no, no. Uno se lo puede leer y se siente bien. O sea... Ay, mira, Camila dice, novela histórica. No existe más el libro, pero yo tengo varios. Wow. O sea, ¿no existen más copias? Las quemaron todas. What? ¿No existen más? Increíble. O sea, ¿no es como que yo lo pueda conseguir acá? No creo, además. What? Aún más denso todo. Sí, increíble. Uy, sí. Qué historia. Pues sí, qué difícil que sea realidad. O sea, 
que no es una historia solamente. No, o sea, es que historia no me refiero como... No, 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 te entiendo, o sea, entiendo todo lo que dices, sino que digo que lo más absurdo es uno pensar que es su historia. una realidad. Eh, Camila dice, el libro es del 96. Ah. Sí, es mucho más reciente. Oye, Camila, estás pintando increíble. Me volviste además. a asustar. Te volví a asustar. Sí, no sé por qué estás como hablando de la nada. Como, ¡Ay! No, pero pues para, me asusté, para me asusté. felicitar a Camila y, el, y, y por favor, quienes no sigan a Camila para que la sigan. Camila Gorman en eh, Instagram. En Instagram, sí. Eh, uf, Camila, estás pintando. Muy además, chévere. Camila, o sea, peca de, de, de hacer unas pinturotas. O sea, cero susto con el formato, eh, súper, súper corajuda con cómo plantear los dibujos, increíble. Esa composición vertical, la que, la que pusiste como el otro día, está increíble. Es con un espejo. Increíble. Sí, es que iba a compartir el username. Ah, pero puedes buscarlo en el, en el mío. No, porque está apagado. Ay, verdad. Eh... Ah, pero espérate que acá puedo buscar. Sí. Me... Instagram se abrió. Sí, sí, yo lo tengo para sí, abrir ahí. Sí, nunca. Pero es porque ya monto las pinturas, como monto las cosas desde ahí. Ah, yo sí, Yo antes sí, me sí. las mandaba al, o sea, sí, por qué correo. Enredo, qué enredo. Como una bobada, entonces ahora ya las pongo desde ahí, ya. Sí, a ver. Eh... So for anyone that's interested, everyone should, should be interested. Yeah, you should check uh, Camila, 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 Camila Cabello, Cabello? <laughs> yeah, uh, Camila's uh, Instagram. There you go. Uh, Camila dice gracias. Y dice no, yo te lo mando. Ay, tan dulce Camila. Camila siempre ha sido. Muy querida. Muy, muy, muy querida. Gracias a Camila, recibí sí. el regalo increíble que me dio Nicolás de cumpleaños de... Sí, si no fuera por... Mi amada escultura de Fernando Rosas. Camila se... Puso la 10, para hacer una literalmente quijotada. se puso la 10. Sí, no, no, hubieras, no hubiéramos podido nunca hacer lo que hicimos. <ríe> Yo me acuerdo cuando... No, Camila ya debe saber esta parte de la historia, pero... Nicolás me dijo, voy a ir a recoger algo, ya vengo, me voy a demorar un poquito, pero necesito llevar una maleta de viaje. <ríe> y yo decía, ¿qué? Sí. ¿A dónde vas a ir? No puedes saber. Y yo, pero si necesitas una maleta, ¿necesitas ayuda? No. Y me dijo, no, mira, no me preguntes más, porque es algo que es para ti. Pero ¿dónde está la maleta de viaje? <ríe> y yo decía, ¿qué va a hacer Nicolás? Sí, eso... Yo decía, no, pero te lo juro, no tenía ni idea. Yo decía, ¿una maleta? ¿Y una maleta para qué? ¿Con qué la va a llenar? Sí. Dólares. No, ¿qué es eso? <risa> <risa> qué horror. Eh, Camila dice, thank you, chicos. Lloro, jaja. <risa> eh... eh Karim said, you explained to me enough and I think that my problem is that the color is too liquid when it is placed on the canvas. Mm -hmm. It looks like watercolors and leaves brush marks. So Karim, would you be interested in trying just oils like without any medium? Because that would be like a good way. It's a good, um, it's a good exercise for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Albino Pérez Camila, beautiful work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eh, Bernadette was saying, is your still life box just a cardboard box or something you constructed? No, but it's not. Is it in a box? No. It was like two little pieces of paper mm -hmm. that, because uh, I just wanted... Um, Uh, I had to take this to the bathroom, which is where mm -hmm. we had, like, better light. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to 
get rid of everything in the background. Mm -hmm. So I just put like two little pieces of paper. But it was like a shift made um, yeah. box. It's not like you have a no, natural no, no, no. box. It was just it was just two little pieces of paper. That that's all it was. What bath bathroom? Because I what bathroom was? Oh, someone someone fit us. Okay. Yeah. Because I was trying to identify. Yeah, but I don't see. No, there's nothing. Like it's in paper there. and paper, so I have no yeah. idea where it was. So I think we should um, leave it there. Yeah. It's nice. It's. Um, it's looking super cool. I like it. Thank you. Perfect. Um, oh God. <laughs> uh, I think we'll we're gonna leave it there. It was a, a really nice, like I, like I was saying at the, uh, at the beginning, I, I was going to try to just do, you know, just a regular pair. And um, at some point I was like, okay, you know, a pair is fine, but, um, and it can be completely, you know, what you want. It, it can be exactly what you want to paint. You can just, you, you want to paint the pairness of that pair. And if that's what you want, awesome. Like, go for that. That's that's going to be your painting. But um, like I was trying to explain, and it's pretty hard for me to explain these things sometimes because they, they do seem like cryptic or or ethereal. Um, but many times I'm, I'm just more interested in painting something rather than what I'm painting. And, um, and I just kind of lose myself in painting you know, whatever it is that I'm painting. Um, and I guess I do it because I try to convince myself that, um, you know, that whatever it is that I'm painting is an opportunity to learn through paint. So it doesn't matter. I don't try to, to, um, to think of things as being paintable or situations as being paintable or, you know, people as being worthy of painting. Like, that to me is is trash that to me is is just absolute garbage because um that would mean that painting in some way is just um a sort of heightening act you know that, that through painting you're trying to make something better and i really don't believe in that i i believe painting is just painting you know it's a very very simple at its core very very simple exercise um so in, in an effort to, to always kind of respect the simplicity that, that I feel is part of uh, painting's nature, I, I kind of separate myself a little bit from whatever it is that I'm painting. It doesn't mean that I don't connect with what I'm painting. It doesn't mean that I can't, you know, understand that I am painting a pair. No, if I'm painting a pair, be sure that my efforts are going to go into painting a pair for sure. Um, in the same way that if I paint Danny, my efforts are going to go into painting Danny. Y you know, that's why I wanted to paint Danny that day. Or that's why I wanted to paint a pair today. But I just, I, I'd like to believe that I don't stop at pairness, at the essence of, of that pair. And and I just, you know, see it as an excuse to um, to just, you know, keep questioning things through painting. And... I think that, again, this is for me, and this is something that works kind of like exclusively for me. I, I'm not trying to say that this is the way um, other people should paint. But um, I've noticed that when I do that, like I'm far more at peace with painting. Like I'm not trying to to put this, this weird unnecessary pressure onto the things that, that I'm painting, onto my subject matter. And I realize that in the end what I'm talking about is probably more the relationship that I have with painting and how painting helps me to, you know, perceive things through it or understand things through it. Um, so, or, or just kind of shape the way um, I view things. Um, and I much rather think about those things than, oh, I'm going to try to paint a pair and if the pair comes out nice, then it's a good painting. And if the but if the pair doesn't quite come out, it's a bad painting. Like I don't try to see those things as as you know responsible for making or breaking a painting. Um, so I don't know. For me, like I said, it just makes it super 
manageable. Um, and I like that. I like the fact that I can see my painting as something that pushes me, that I try to, you know, every single day be better at, but it's something that I enjoy in the end of the day. Like, you know, after a session of painting, I'm like, yeah, that was cool. That was like, in, in some way, I feel better. I, I feel like um, it taught me something about how to, you know, you know, the important things in life, how to be like a better human being. So, yeah. So, I know it sounds weird, all of that through a pair, but um, I'd be lying if I said that that's not what I feel when I'm kind of painting. So, so anyways, um, any, any comments or any questions? Uh, mm, Monique was saying, I love it. Thank you. Alejandro Morales was saying, estaba diciendo, gracias por compartir y enseñarnos y un corazón. Hoy aprendimos nombres, lista de películas. Eh, eh, un y par ya, de palabras en italiano. Ah, sí, sí, sí. ¿Qué más aprendimos? No, ¿A pronunciar creo... a algunos usuarios? Sí, eso sí es muy importante. Útil. ¿Qué más aprendimos? No, yo creo que con eso estamos satisfechos, la ¿Sí? verdad. O sea, una buena sesión. Sí, pa... o sea, un día completo. <risa> sí. Eh, so... Sí. Sí. <risa> <laughs> so, uh, you think we're done? I think so. I think so. It's okay. nice. Okay. Yeah, It's I nice. like it. I'm reminded. I, oh. um, Alex Konevsky, I think his... I'm going to say his first show, but um, maybe it's... What? Maybe it was... Um, I Or I remember him referring <laughs> to that as one of his first shows, but he painted a hundred apples. And oh. it was all like under the uh, premise of an apple a day keeps the doctor away. I don't know if you've heard that. Yeah. Dang. So he painted a hundred apples like, um, I don't know. It was probably like, a, what, like five by five inch. Um, maybe I'm making that up, but I think I saw. But was it like the process of an apple decaying? No, 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 no. Or was no, no, it no. like oh, different no. apples? I don't know if you could do. Oh, yeah. I'm you sure. could do it. Yeah. A hundred days, let's say. Yeah. Of an apple just lying there. Uh, yeah, that would take, that would. Oh my god, that would smell like super nasty after a while, but La Mela. Uh, la Mela. Oh, I don't know how to say podrida. Estinca. No, I don't know. Um, let's see. Let's uh, see. Putrefatta. Putrefatta? I'm going to say putrefatta. <laughs> uh, so let's say putrid, maybe putrid. Putrida. Putrida. Oh. Or uh Okay, eh, pon, ponle translate a putrefacto. Rotten is marcia. Marcia. Ma marcia. Marcia. No, marcia. Oh, like marchita. Uh, espérate, voy a español uh -huh. y pongo putrefacto. Putrefacto. Eh, putrefacto. Putrido. Putrido. Uh, so we were close. You were. Uh. I said... Stinka. <laughs> um, <laughs> Anyways. But what were you saying? I forgot. They no. did the painting. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> so I remembered. I remembered Alex I'm saying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That he did I'm that show. Everything. And I remember seeing an image of that show and it looked great. It was amazing. So I, I always, um, when people ask me about subject matter, I always tell them there's no boring subject matter. Like there's only boring artists. Uh, but a subject matter in and of itself cannot be boring. It can never be boring, ever, ever. It could be like a, a, a cube, a white cube, and a white cube can be an amazing piece of subject matter. Um, under, you know, for us, maybe, with a closed mind, yeah, sure, we'll see it as very limiting, um, as very limited and, and hence very limiting to our practice. But when you see people that are not bound by by those kind of chains um, they're geniuses and they show us like yeah i could do a show about a hundred apples and it's going to be an amazing show and you're never going to feel like oh my god another it's apple repetitive yeah. yeah it's like jesus christ like is this what this show is about like only apples and it's like yes but it's like the coolest apples that you've ever seen because yes they you know the, the pretext is an apple but it's also like this this repetition you know, through painting, which is amazing. 
I think when painting becomes this iterative act where you're not just doing the same painting over and over and over again, which because that, that would only bear the same result, but where every single time you sit down, it's like a new um, opportunity to reflect. Um, painting can be so, so generous with, with that to us. Um, and I think that that's, I don't know, that's my life now, I feel. It, it, it forever sort of changed the way I, I view painting. So, um, yeah. So today, the, the, I guess I would say the, um, the pretext was a pair. And um, it was fun. It was super fun. It came with like addendums, like the um, because we were painting on on a um, on an old painting um, that I had sanded lightly, sanded down. By the way, I used your little piece of sandpaper, Danny. Oh, I'm so perfect. sorry. I had to throw wow. it away because I, you know, it was gone. No, I have more. Okay, and if I if you. it was the last piece, I mean, it's yeah, fine. But, of course, we, we you could have it. More. No, but, and um, you could have it if you. it was like the last in the world. You could have it. Oh. You could have it. <laughs> then I would paint it. The last <laughs> sandpaper, the last piece of sandpaper in the world. <laughs> um, so, so yeah. So the surface was uh, far less absorbent. It was um, like, uh, I'm not going to say it was like a, a, a super pristine surface that felt, um, that felt very slippery. Like, uh, you know, a freshly gessoed panel would where you're cutting gesso like, you know, fifty uh, percent gesso, fifty percent water, um, and you're doing like you know fifteen, sixteen layers of gesso sanding between layers. That you're gonna have like a super nice, you know, reflective surface, like super, super clean, um, super smooth, like almost like ivory smooth surface. No, it's not that. It's just that compared to <laughs> the the sucking universe, the absorbing universe that I've um, sort of embraced with uh, when working with raw paper for the last year and a half. This is this feels different. It just feel it, it just really feels different, and um, so much so that I I just can't remember myself as a painter uh, while I was I, I couldn't remember myself as a painter while I was painting this today, which is remarkable. I feel that in, in just a year and a half of doing like this repeating exercise, you, you just change a tiny variable, the absorption of a substrate, and everything changed for me. Like my mind was like, oh my God, this is a new painting. This is something super, super new, which it isn't. That, I mean, if I could say, what is the way that I've painted over the last 25 years? It's this, it's, a, it's just an, an, you know, a primed surface. So, there shouldn't have been an issue with that. Like your body, and yes, your body eventually remembers, but it's not simple. It's not at all simple. And that's why painting is amazing because you can change the smallest little variable and it just becomes a new painting experience every single time. And um, I think that's what's at the core of, of what we try to do. And, and hopefully that's why it feels kind of fresh because we push ourselves to try to make it feel new every single time so doesn't mean that every that all paintings are going to feel like new and you know something that we've never done before no no that's not the point to try to like reinvent the wheel like every single time like no we we can't do that that would be absurd but um but you know it is about acknowledging that <clears throat> that there there is an experience there a new experience there waiting to be you know um kind of uh fed upon if if we are willing to say we want to go through that we want to feel uncomfortable so that we can you know um uh go through that experience so um yeah so that was uh that was today that was uh pretty good yeah yeah i'm pretty happy that that um we decided to do the uh the pair yeah yeah it looks good. super good thank you i thank like you. it thank you so much you're welcome. So, uh, prego. Prego. Mm. Ragazza. <laughs> um, Any questions or uh, comments, uh, Danielita? Mm, so, Albino Perez was saying, do you uh, just sew the paper? No. Uh, no. I was no. going to say raw paper, but today it wasn't a raw paper. It no, was no, no. So A painting? So, we painted, and you can check. Um, maybe if you joined late, 
you can scrub back to the um, beginning of the uh, painting and you'll see that we were using um, one of the uh, misfit paintings that never sold. So It was uh, a pair that was superposed. Superimposed? Superimposed. Uh-huh. Uh, on top of on a... On top of a tape. Yeah, a roll of tape. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's it. Yeah. We can uh, leave it there. Yeah, so thank you everyone for thank joining you. us. Thank you. Thank you, Danny Lita, for um, My derailing. Knowledge. Your constant derailing. My infinite knowledge. And um, sure. You want to go with that? Sure, sure. <laughs> I'm not going to debate that. So, uh, thank you again, everyone, for being here. Yeah. But wait, are you going to paint more? Well, I think that's what I'm doing because yeah. I saw... I mean, nothing's going to change. But okay. Yeah. So I'm going to keep uh, oh, saying yeah, yeah, bye. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Please, please. So thanks, everyone, for being here. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Remember, yeah. if you don't want to miss uh, the stream, you should subscribe and ring the bell. I yeah. know it sounds annoying, but it yeah. works. It, it works. works. It works, yes. And we would be super happy, 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 happy? to have you here. Yeah. Every stream. Yeah. Oh, you so keep, you're going. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes.